going to cover each eye, okay? And this uh, might make uh, the dot hop around a little bit. Does the dot hop or is it staying still? It moves. Is it going up and down or side to side? Side to side. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a measurement. Just look into my open eye for me. That's it. Now I have one. Back again. Back once more. And again, any better with one? Or with two? One. Yeah. One's a bit better, yeah? Yeah, one's much better now. Okay, just going to have a look at the outside of your eyes first. What can you manage down to for me? You are on the top. Mm -hmm. U E N, mm -hmm. then U E N. So this is the optic nerve. Uh, the optic nerve is um, what takes all the information uh, off to the brain and turns yeah. into an image for us. Um, it's also known as the blind spot. Okay. Um, because it's just neural tissue. There's no photoreceptors there at all. So um, so thankfully we don't see this big area of nothing in our vision because uh, our brain fills it in nicely for us. Um, you can look at the E just at the beginning of the top line. Uh, so I'm just going to cover and uncover your eyes. I'll just check how well your eye muscles are working together. Okay, very good. Lovely. And then if you can look at the H for me down here next to my finger, I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay, brilliant, thank you. Good, so now then I'll just show you what the photograph um, of your retina looks like. <clears throat> so this camera um, that we have is a very useful one because um, it looks much further out into the periphery of the retina. So we get a much wider uh, and better view of the retina in general. Um, good, so, <laughs> um, so this is your right eye, first of all, your right retina. Um, good, so your retina is looking great, perfectly flat and intact. Lovely, so I'll slide this machine across. Um, so this one would just be a bright light. Um, good, so chin on the chin rest, thank you, and forehead hitting the bar. Good, is the height okay for you? Uh, yeah. Great, so I'm just going to turn these lights down, okay? Um, but you can stare straight ahead back at the screen behind me, it's fine. Um, so first of all then, we'll just check your pupil reaction. Good, and if you can look down to the ground for me. Good. Good, lovely, look straight ahead once more. So, if I can ask you to look through these for me, I'm like a pair of binoculars. So we'll do your right eye first. So I've made your left eye um, a little bit blurry. So it might feel a bit strange, um, but if you can try to keep both eyes open for me. Um, so if you look back over to the middle line, um, is that middle line clearer with number one now, or clearer with number two? The number one. Okay, good. And then between number three now, and number four. Number three. If you look at this reading chart, okay, you're still able to see the bottom line there. Yep. Yeah. And you know where you use your computer? Yeah. How far away is your computer, would you say? Um, about about this far, yeah. Okay. So we just take a measurement on it just to confirm. So it's about 52 centimetres roughly, okay? So keeping it there, are you able to see M10? There, yes. That one there. Yeah. Anything below that you can see? I think I can see all of it. All them. of it. Now yeah. keep that position, okay. and I'm going to take this off. Okay. Do you see a difference at all? Yeah. Which one do you think looks better? Uh, it's much better with the glasses. Yes. Yeah, so now you know what's going on. Yes. <laughs> okay. Keep looking straight. 
this just helps me confirm that what I've got for you is correct. So that's good. Concentrate on the F. Thank you. Watch the F. That's perfect. Well done, that's great. And blink. Good. Keep looking at the green dot for me. Keep very still. Excellent. Beautiful image, that's lovely. Okay. So this is the back of your left eye. Oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful, yeah. So this is all, these are your blood vessels that come in from our brain. There's a whole pool of blood vessels that come in in the brain, and that's called the circle of Willis, and then all those vessels come into the eye, into your optic nerve, through your optic nerve, and onto the retina. So this is your optic nerve, the sort of pale part, which is the nerve that travels to the back of your brain. This is an image of a hot air balloon. Yeah, let's keep looking at that. Let's try the last line. L C N K. Okay, now one and two. That's one. And that's two. I think one is better. And looking over to your left. And looking over to your right. Looking up, very gently, eyelid. And looking down. So would you say it's better on the red, the green, or are they about the same? The red is a bit better, yeah. Okay. So if I were to pop this lens in front, is it a bit more on the red, a bit more on the green, or are they about the same? Um, I think the green, actually, with this lens. And now the next thing I'm going to get you to do is to have a look at those two circles just there. So this is your optic nerve here, where well, the vessels go out the back of your eye. So it's really sharp actually, it's a good image. Um, and basically with glaucoma, you have an increased pressure in the middle of your eye and that causes damage to the optic nerve at the back of your eye. Uh, and it affects the thickness of the nerve fibre layer on your optic nerve. And if that thickness gets damaged and gets thinner, then you get a loss of visual field. So you start losing areas of your vision. So this is the button here. Okay. That's there. And I can move this up and down. So you need to put your right eye in there first. Yeah. And then close your left eye. And you can use yeah, you can use your finger just to, okay. just to hold your, your lid if you want, whatever's come more comfortable. Um, and you see there's a dot in the middle there. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the layers of your retina. Um, so if we slide through it, each beep when it was taking the scan was a cross-section through it yeah. and then it creates this block which we can look at uh, and then in a minute we'll get to the centre of your macula there. So that's where the detailed vision is, so if we look from above that's where it dips. So the, the centre of that cross is you looking straight ahead and then you're sort of 30 degrees to the left, right and up and down. Okay. So and it's testing areas within your visual field uh, and if you miss a spot then it highlights it. So if we slide this over here, so this is a cross section through there of the thickness of the nerve fibre layer. So you see as I drag this over it's a different cross section all the way around. Uh, and this is it mapped out, showing the thickness. And then over here, um, it shows the quadrants of the areas of, uh, of the thickness. Uh, and it's got your thicknesses, and then it's got averages as well. So, um, uh, and that all looks really healthy. We'll have a seat then for us. Thank you. Oh, morning. Morning. I'm Richard Hollingsworth, good to see you. Hi, nice to meet you. So, sight test time then for you, is it? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> So I will take some notes, okay, all right. Oh yeah, of course. So how, how are things vision-wise for you? How are you yeah, seeing? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Mm -hmm. I 
definitely need to wear my glasses when I'm watching uh, television. Okay, yeah. So, so you're using it for mainly distance, are you? Yeah, mainly distance, yeah. yeah. How's reading close work, things like that? Um, reading, if it's on an actual like physical book, I'm yeah. fine. Um, also fine if I'm like on my phone, like really close. Okay, yeah. Um, but on a computer screen, sometimes I get a bit of eye strain if I don't wear them. Don't wear your specs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you ever get any double vision? Uh, See through of anything? No. No. Mm -hmm. Good. Nothing like to hear. So, um, work-wise, what's you doing there? Uh, so I'm an admin assistant, okay. so lots of Excel lots, spreadsheets. Lots of computers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much time do you spend on a computer? Is that a dangerous question? Yes, <laughs> quite. I mean, it's over over seven hours okay, a day. Okay, so a fair time then, yeah. <laughs> and then devices at the... Uh, yeah, then I come yeah. home and edit for YouTube. Okay, so, <laughs> so quite a few. Yeah. Oh, How do you find that vision-wise? Um, yeah, I do get the occasional headaches from okay. it. Um, yeah. yeah. Any particular time of day? Um, mainly, yeah, like four or five p.m. Like okay. nearing the end of my work day when it's just. I want to take a break, but can't because of work. Right. Yeah. And how often do you get those? Um, recently it's a lot. It's a lot better when I am actually wearing my glasses. Okay. So that helps. It does. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so sometimes me just not prop wearing them all the time when I should. Enough. Be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Anything in the vision? Any floaty dotty bits? Any flashy lighty bits? Uh, no. No. Okay. Great stuff. And how's your health? Um, yeah, pr pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Any pills and potions at the moment? Um, does, does supplements count? Um, Anything prescribed, really? No, no just vitamin D okay. supplements. So. Yeah, we don't get enough sunshine in this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice today, though, actually, yeah. Is it nice out there? Yeah, yeah it's quite sunny. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. <laughs> I'll find it later. Yeah. <laughs> The only problem with this job is sitting in the dark all day. Yeah, it's it? lovely and cool in here though. That's the pleasures of air conditioning, you see. It's, it's, it's a good nice. thing, isn't it? Um, now, any trips to the hospital for your eyes at any stage? Um, not to the hospital. Once, okay. as I say, a kid, I think I was like 12 or 13, I mm -hmm. had a conjunctivitis. Okay, yeah. Um, but I don't remember it being super bad. I okay, think. just gummy. Yeah, yeah no. just gross. Yeah, it's not much fun conjunctivitis. No, I remember the GP saying that it might have been I used a very dodgy mascara or something. Right, okay. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, they go out of date, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> and most people never throw them away. <laughs> yeah, yeah always use the same one. Indeed. And um, anybody in the family with any eye problems at all? Um... Yes, but I don't really know the details, but my okay. mum has a very, very particular prescription. Okay. I know in one of her eyes she has, um, I can't remember what it's called, the dot that like moves all around or something. Okay. So she got glaucoma or...? It, it's not one of the... Not one of those ones, no. okay. So is it trying to control her eyes together, do you know? I just know it's, she's very particular about what lenses she has to okay. have in and without them she can't she can't so, function with them yeah okay. whereas I can kind of be fine without them if yes yeah, yeah because of <laughs> eye okay but any diabetics or glaucoma is in oh, the family diabet top? yes yeah who's diabetic so my gran and my aunt okay they'll get that later in life do you know yes yeah. yes quite recently I think so just over 50 my aunt got it mm -hmm. Tends to be a later life thing, unfortunately. Mm. Right. Okay, no cataracts or anything like that. In, no. no, no, okay. All right. So, uh, do you drive? No. No, okay. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why they put this on here. I assume you don't smoke. No, no, no I don't. Good stuff. 
Do you ever wear contact lenses at all? No, no, I'm a bit scared of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, sorry about that. It's always 20 questions to start with, okay? Oh, yeah, it's all right. But they're quite easy ones, aren't they? Yeah. So shall we have a little look and see what you see seen today? Okay. So let me take you up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to go up a bit. And can you can you see in front of you? There's a mirror. Oh yes. Yep. Yeah. And um, I'm just going to cover your eye. There we go. And uh, well, can you see any of the letters on there? Uh, yeah, I can read the top V and Z. Okay. And then it's R E N. Well done. And N mm -hmm. F. Yeah. One. H. Yeah, okay. P. Nice. Any any of the next one at all? I think some of them I I can get like okay. I can get the N. Yeah. But I don't know if that's an F or an R. Oh right. And then it's an R. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, the second one is an F. If that's an R. Okay. Am I overthinking it? No, yeah. <laughs> Good guess is fine. Z and H. Okay. Yeah, I could read that one, it's just a bit Blurry. Bit miss and and is the next one down really out? Okay, no, so is. <laughs> we pushed over. It was a P. Uh, let's cover yeah. this now. Swap the letters over, okay? Okay. So have a peek there. Uh, and uh, what can you manage down to for me? U R on the top. Mm -hmm. U E N. Mm -hmm. Then U E N. V or an M, V, V, okay. D, F, V, R, E. Well done. And the next one? Maybe an F. Okay. N, F. Okay. O, F. Okay, bits and bobs, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of them was an F, I guess. Yeah, one of them was an F. <laughs> But let me give you this, and hopefully this looks a lot easier. Have a hold of that. Can you see the very small one there for me? Uh, the the yeah. N5, yes, yeah. That's that quite easy, is it? Yeah. And if I cover that one, can you still see it there? Yeah. And can you still see it there? Yeah. Lovely. And if you move it in towards your nose, tell me to go smudgy. Oh, on your nose, okay. Smudgy. <laughs> well done, that's good. So, on my letter chart, out in the mirror again, on the third line up, can, well, in fact, from, uh, let's not go to the third line up because you're going to have a struggle with that one, <laughs> aren't you? Let's try my dot. Can you see the green dot there? Yes. Okay. So keep looking at my dot. I'm just going to cover each eye, okay? And this uh, might make uh, the dot hop around a little bit. Does the dot hop or is it staying still? It moves. Is it going up and down or side to side? Side to side. Okay. Can you see my little white dot here? Yep. Keep looking at that for me again. And again, is that just moving slightly? Uh, or is it yeah. still? Um, I think it's moving side to side. <laughs> it's a little bit side to side, okay. So keep looking at the dot for me. I'm going to make it go cross eyed with this and watch it coming in. Watch it coming in. Watch it. Okay, well done. You can cross eyes, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It, uh, it's a bit strange, that one, isn't it? <laughs> Makes your eyes go a bit funny. But that's good. Now, it's going to take a measure. Just look into my open eye for me. That's it, that one. Back again. Back once more. Start off and have a little look and see what's going on. So I'm going to pop this onto your. Um, I'll just clean this beforehand, okay? So I'm going to pop your forehead on here, and then we're going to look through the little eyeglasses, okay? So let me pop that in there. So if you le lean forward against it, that's lovely. Is that all right there for you? Yeah. Can we see you nearly? Let me take it up just a little bit. There we go. That better? Yes, we can see you now, can't we? <laughs> So I'm going to blur things a little bit more for you now, okay? Okay. Um, so the 
it will get a bit blurry, okay? Okay. So. And that should have blurred both nicely for you. Okay. Can you see my green colour there out in the distance? Uh, yeah, it's like a traffic light, like red and green, yeah. That's a bit hard to see it though, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to shine a bit of a light into your eyes, okay? Okay. And, uh, it won't be that bright, but we just want to have a little look, see what the vision is getting up to you first. There we go, so look at the green for me. Uh, nice and blurry though, isn't it? So hopefully that looks a bit clearer. Feel a bit lopsided. You've got one eye clear and one eye not, okay? Yeah. So can you see the circles on the red and green? Yeah. Which ones look better? Circles red or circles green? Green, I think. Green a little bit, yeah? Yeah. How about with that one? Red. Red one, okay. Let's go back to that. So, I'm going to change to a set of dots. Let me move to my dots. There you go. Can you see my dots there? Yeah. I'm going to place two lenses, one and two. I'd like you to tell me which one makes the dots any clearer for you, okay? Okay. So, that's number one. Or is it better number two? Um, I think two is okay. better. Okay, do it again. That's one. And that's two. Oh, uh -huh. Or they're is not much they're not that much different. They're yeah, pretty similar? Yeah. Okay, let me just uh, pop it there. And again, any better with one? Or with two? One, yeah. One's a bit better, yeah? Yeah, one's much better. Now. Okay. This, this one's much better. Yep, yeah, first one? Yeah. Better than that one, is it? Yeah. Crisper. And again, every better with the first one. Or the second one. First one. That one was a bit easier, yeah. Yeah. And that's the uh, first one again. Or that second one. First one. First one, yeah. And that's first again. And second. First. Oh wait, yeah, the first, I think. And we'll try that once more. Any better with the first lens or the second one? Um, maybe the second, actually. Second is better? Yeah. yeah. And again, any better with that first one or the second one? I honestly can't. They're very similar, are they? Yeah. yeah. Not much in those two. I don't think so. Okay, that's good. Let's go back to that. Oh, it's so clear. <laughs> Can you see my reds and greens again? Yeah. Which one this time stands out better? Red. Red a little bit, okay. And with this one? Green. Lovely. Red. Uh, red one a bit? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to my letters and uh, what's the smallest line you can see there for me? I think I can read the bottom. Okay, actually, yeah. have a go for me. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to doubt myself uh, now. Uh, I think it F R D V P. Uh, very good. Now, does it look any clearer with this one? No, the one before. Is, that one's a bit better, yeah, is it? Yeah, better. Lovely. And any clearer here? Or a better first one? First one, this one, yeah. Okay. Shall we 
we'll see if you've got eagle vision. <laughs> Any of that one? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> H. Yep. Oh my god. F. Yep. V. E. U. N. Yeah, well done. That's very good indeed. Did I get them all? You did. <gasps> you'll, you'll do. That's, <laughs> that's a good vision. Lovely level. Oh, that's great. Right, when you could do it without the glasses. No, 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 that's, that's an unfortunately different story, isn't it? Can some people actually read that without glasses? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, unfortunately you're that little bit short-sighted. Yeah. Uh, which means you can see things nice and closely to you. Yeah. But of course everything in the distance is a bit more of a struggle, isn't it? Yeah, it's always the, the train times. I can never read yeah. them on the board, it's so annoying. Unless you squint at them a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just keep blinking, uh, yeah. It comes in a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's go back to red and green. I'm going to swap eyes, OK? OK. There we go. And can you see the circles again for me? Yep. And which one this time stand out better? Uh, red. OK. Let's try that one. And this one? Green. Green, green a little bit? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. OK. And we'll go dotty again, OK? OK. There we go. So... Is it any better with that first lens? Second lens? First. First a bit better, yeah? Yeah. And let's try any better with three? No, it's quite blurry. Or with four? Oh, four is great. Four is good, <laughs> okay. Four is so clear. Lens one and two again, okay? Okay. So any clearer with the first lens there? Or the second lens? Second. And again, the first one. Second one. First one. And that's first again. Second. First. And the first again. This one right now, I think. That's a right. little better, is it? Yeah. yeah. And again, and get the first one, second one. First one. Lovely. Okay. Let's uh, take that away. Hopefully, that looks dotty again for you. Yeah, yeah, it's really clear now. And if we go back to the letters, can you see the bottom one? Yep. Yeah. U V H R Z. Well done. It's actually easier on this side. It feels a bit easier, does it? Okay. Yeah. Any sharper there? Uh, um, I don't think so. I think the, this one's sharper. Is that a bit better? Okay. Yeah. Any clearer here? Uh, or with the first one? I, the, this one's clearer, yeah. That one's better. Or does it just look a bit blacker? Uh, okay. It's like same difference. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Okay. <laughs> Let me just let this one out. I'm just going gonna, gonna to blur things a bit for you, okay? Okay. And can you see, in fact, can you see my letters there? Yes. Which one? Um, uh, still managing the bottom line? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, P, D, U, Z. Okay, any clearer there? Uh, I don't think. Or better with that one? Yeah, better with this one. Okay. Just going to fold this one. And just unfold that one. There we go. And again, let me give you some new letters. Can you see the bottom line again? H N F U R. And is it any clearer with this one? Oh yeah, it is. A little bit easier there. Yeah. yeah. Any better with that one? The one before. Was that one's better. better. Yeah. Lovely. Unfold that one. That feel a bit better now? Yeah, it's great. It's so clear. Looking quite well down the bottom there. <laughs> yeah. And if I give you that one back again, oh does, that look, does that look quite easy? Um, it, no, 
not easy, but I can I can okay. try. Have a, have a go. <laughs> um, oh gosh, it, it's a P P Z U. Mm -hmm. U. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. H and N. Well done. That's very good. Uh, H's and N's look so similar. They do. P's and F's as well are very close, aren't oh, they? Of course, yeah. But that looks really good. Oh, yeah. You've got lovely, very good vision once it's corrected. Oh, that's very, great. Very good. <laughs> good to hear. So let's just have a look at your near vision, just make sure that's yeah. uh, doing what it should be. So I'm just going to get in the way. And can you see the um, N5 there again? Oh, yeah. Is that quite easy to see? Yeah, yeah. And can you still see it here? Yeah, it's easy to see. And can you still see it there? Yep. Yeah. And still see it there? Yep. You'll do. You'll do nicely. Well done. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's let you loose out of this horrible thing. Well done. Good. Well, yeah, you, you're definitely short-sighted. Uh, but once corrected, your vision is really, really good. It's a lovely level. Um, so, you see um, at least a line better than the 100% line, so that's, uh, that's really good. Really okay. sharp vision. But you do need your glasses on to do that. That's the only thing. Okay. Close to, yeah, not such an issue. You, you're, you're, um, does what it says on the tin. You're short-sighted, so you can, yeah. you can still see close to. Um, you have a wee bit of, a, of astigmatism, which is to do with the shape of the eye. Yes, that, that's what I meant. Sorry, with my mum. It was astigmatism. A astigmatism. Ah, okay, fair news. <laughs> yeah, so um, you have a little bit, but not a lot. Okay. Okay. Uh, but it just, as you saw, it just makes it absolutely pin sharp when that's in there. Mm -hmm. But you've only got a small bit, okay? So okay. it's not a, not a huge a huge problem for you, okay? So let's have a closer look at your eyes, just see what they're up to, shall we? Let's pop you onto this thing. Just a little bit. And if I can ask you just to lean forward and pop your chin on the chin rest there. Is that all right there for you? Now this is going to get nice and bright, okay? I'd like to look at my ear this side for me. I'm just going to have a look at the outside of your eyes first. Look up for me and look down, straight ahead again. Have you noticed a little bit of pigmentation at the edge of your eye? On this side, on this side. What is that exactly? Like colours? Yeah, just a little brown mark at the edge of the eye there. Um, I don't think I've known. No. No, not being aware of it? Okay. Have a yeah, little... I might just not be aware of okay. it. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. I thought it was makeup in my eyes. Yeah. Okay. Look up for me. And look down. Straight ahead again. I'm just going to have a look at the back of the eyes as well, okay? So I'm just going to turn the lights back up. Okay, look past my ear this side, thanks. So very bright this one, okay? Look up at the ceiling for me. Over to the left. Over to the right. Look down for me. And again, if you look at my ear, this side of the thing. Look up for me. Over to the left. Over to the right. Look 
drop down again for me. Okay. And you can sit back again for me, thanks. Thank you. Good. Oh, nice purple spots in your vision there. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, let me, let me explain a little bit about that brownie. So you've got some pigmentation at the uh, just on your on the white of your eye at this side. Okay, all right. Um, it's nothing um, uh, to worry about, um, but it's worth just um, having a look at it every now and again. I so have a look in the mirror every now and again. Just make sure it stays the the same sort of shape and uh, and size. Okay. Is it this side? Yeah, or is it it's just towards here? the the, the oh, ear. Yeah. Um, have yeah, have a look in the mirror because a good thing about. Uh, uh, being short so you can see it nice and clearly. Yeah. You just see a little mark there, and that's a little pigmentation, okay? All right. Okay. It's nothing serious. Um, sometimes they can um, increase in size, and then we get a little bit more worried about them, but I think this is just um, a, a little pigmentation that's there for you, okay? All right. Oh, will that have been there since I was born, or is uh, it? Probably. Yeah, okay. It's probably been there a fair while. I must not look at myself enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look deeply into your own eyes. That's <laughs> but uh, but it's something to keep a, a watch on. Okay. Okay. Um, let me draw a little diagram. And then you can see where it is then. So it's around about here. Oh, okay. Okay. Just a few oh, pigments. Yeah, I think someone's actually mentioned yeah. that to you before. Okay. Uh, so what are you on about? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so it's a little pigment um, deposit there. Okay. It's very superficial. It's it. it it's very innocuous. Okay. It's probably just you. All right. Okay. So, but it's worth just just watching it okay yeah and right. if you suddenly start going hello that's getting bigger and more noticeable yeah then uh, what exactly why does it well, mean we just that? we just sometimes get these odd um, pigment um, um, cells disperse themselves around the eye so oh. sometimes they're right next to the to the to the um, clear part of the eye here yeah and sometimes they're dotted all over the conjunctiva um, they I say if they start to grow then we get more worried about them because they can be significant to other problems. But uh, but yours mm. doesn't look like that at all. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yours just looks like a normal pigmented uh, area. But it's just okay. worth knowing it's there. Okay? Yeah. Well, thank you for That's alerting right. me to it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. 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 Um, we'll have a little look at your scans in a moment, okay? I want to see what they're up to. Okay. So, as I say, eyes look very good. Um, nice, healthy eyes. Uh, they work well together, just that bit short sighted. Um, that little pigmented bit, but as I say, don't get overstressed about that. Just just every now. Probably you're going to go and watch it now, aren't you? Gonna, I can see it, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> just keep, keep a watch on it, okay? okay. All right. It's the best thing. Um, and um, I think uh, review again in about a year's, uh, sorry, a couple of years' time, okay, okay. would be good. Let me just uh, show you your pictures. So we did some um, three-dimensional scanning of your retina. So this is the optic nerve. Uh, the optic nerve is um, what takes all the information uh, off to the brain and turns yeah. it into an image for us. Um, it's also known as the blind spot. Okay. Um, because it's just neural tissue, there's no photoreceptors there at all. So, um, so thankfully we don't see this big area of nothing in our vision because uh, our brain fills it in nicely for us. So, um, these are all your nerve fibers, about one and a half million nerve fibers that go down your optic nerve, so it's a fair few, isn't it? Um, and we look at these and we look at the optic nerve to see how healthy uh, A, your vision is, but also how healthy you are as well, so there are certain issues that can be seen on that and you're also perfectly healthy okay all right oh, wow. um, but also what this does it takes a measurement of the thickness of it yeah so what it does is it um it's it's a bit like a big ring donut okay with a hole in the middle yeah and that's where the blood vessels come out um and it's a bit hard to assess that so what this machine does is it flattens it all out for us so it takes that donut 
and flattens it for us, OK? And then we can look at the thicknesses in, in different areas. So as you can see, it goes a bit thick and thin in different places. Yeah. Um, we have different bundles, so the, the superior bundles are always a bit, and the inferior ones a bit thicker, um, because that's the ones that do the major part of our vision for us. They do the very sharp part of our vision, OK? And they go to this area here, which is called the fovea. And we look at those for damage or, or loss of um, um, thickness, uh, and this can indicate something called glaucoma, OK? Um, but as you can see, yours are nicely within the, um, the green um, statistical, yes, you're OK. Mm -hmm. So that looks very good. So the optic nerve on your right eye looks very happy. It's so interesting. And uh, what we'll do is go to this one. Now this one does this foveal area, and as you can see, see there's a little dip here? Yes. And the dip is there um, because it spreads all of the nerve fibres away from your vision. So uh, all around the rest of the peripheral part of your eye, the light has to pass through all of these ten layers of the retina to get to the bottom layer, or the tenth layer, which is your photoreceptor layer. So the only place it doesn't do it is this foveal area, and this is our sharpest vision. Okay. okay, so this area is about as thick as a, or about as large as a um, uh, a pinhead in real life. It's tiny, tiny, and it's what's yeah. responsible for all our. Um, so if I spin that round, oh, that little white. So it's that little bit in there, and you see if I change it now, you can see it becomes three D. So you have dip, dips down in that dip, yeah. and if I move this back, we can take little sections through your eyes, chop it up nicely, but thankfully only with light. <laughs> <laughs> And you can see there's that little dip area. Yeah. Okay. And then as we move back past it, it goes out of that area. Um, so you can see all the blood vessels as well point in towards that. So the blood vessels don't pass across it, otherwise you get a dirty grey line across your vision. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed when I was shining the light in, you saw some like tree branches. I, I did, yeah. yeah. And this is your blood vessels. This is the... Because the, they sit on top of your retina. Uh, and the photoreceptors are underneath, so when we shine a bright light in, you get a nice little um, shadow of your own blood vessels. And I saw my own blood vessels. Indeed, that's and, and so as you can cool. see here, you can see here these sort of lines here. This is the shadow, okay? All these little shadows, because the light doesn't get through your blood vessels very well, because it's, strange enough, full of blood. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's your fovea, and that looks lovely and healthy as well. So again, we can see um, other changes, you know, for instance, if you had diabetes, things like that, you can see it quite avidly um, in these It's images. amazing that the eyes show the health of the body. They show a lot of different, um, lot of different problems, a lot of neurological problems, things like this as well. So um, the, I'll, I'll show you our field test plot in a moment. Um, so again, same for the, for the left eye. Mm. Um, nice, happy, foveal area. Um, if we get the profile again, we can bring that up, and you can see here your nice foveal area. But uh, yeah, we're talking what thickness of that area? 212 microns, microns less than a quarter of a millimetre. That's how thick that is. I can imagine it. Tiny, tiny, isn't tiny. it? Tiny, tiny. And uh, consequently, that, that area is really, really small. But essential for our very good vision. We start losing this, we start losing our very good vision. So um, mm. lots of um, elderly people get something called age-related macular degeneration and this actually affects this central part. So mm. we start losing central vision. So uh, uh, unfortunately with some of it it's untreatable. So mm. they just generally quietly lose their central vision which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. So, uh, Does it does the hole get deeper or like shallower? Or no, you start to lose the photoreceptors at the back, so oh, you start okay. getting lumpy bits at the back of it, and oh, it's uh, and that's just age. Yeah, time, time. Mm. Yeah, it's. Uh, thank you. You've got miles off that <laughs> if you ever get it at all, which is good. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yes, yeah, so, and hopefully they'll find a cure for it in that time as well, which would be very useful. Yeah. So that looks all very good. Let's have a look at your field plot again. So. Um, as I say, this does your peripheral vision. So the, 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 the square in the centre, or if you like, the target in the centre is that foveal area. 
we test a lot of that in here so we know that that's working well. Mm. So what we do is fire dots into the periphery and get you to see if you can see them. Yeah. Um, and you did very well. You didn't miss any points. The um, the background illumination is, is, is a nice level as well. Sometimes we have to increase or decrease that. Okay. And that can be a problem. Um, but your yours is looking very good. Oh, it's good. very happy and uh, and normal. Oh. Um, if sometimes if there's a lesion, let's say we have a, a stroke or we have a um, maybe a, a, a growth within our head, mm. um, it can be picked up in these field tests because you start to lose areas on it. Oh, that would be connected to the. That's right, because the the visual pathway goes all the way to the visual cortex at the back. And of course, there's a pathway through the brain. Um, so if anything's going on in there, um, you can sometimes pick it up with field tests. You can't pick everything yeah. up, but yeah. certainly, uh, and and it can be quite um, diagnostic. So you can lose one half of the vision, mm. um, and that tends to be much further back. As it yeah. comes up, you maybe get just quadrants, uh, and then as you come towards the front of the eye, you maybe even get one eye affected. So, mm. so it's it's quite diagnostic for many different things. Yeah, well, it would be good to find out, and then if you did have something wrong, at least you exactly. know. So, so yeah. you know, if there's anything going on, we can say, right, that needs to be reviewed. Yeah, I never knew it was so linked, like, to other health issues. Absolutely. That you could spot. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's a, a vast quantity of um, information that your eyes do tell us yeah. about the, your general health. And I'm glad to say yours is lovely. Yeah, it's, that's always really really, good to hear really at the end good, of the day. Really nice. <laughs> so all in all, I think very good. Um, great. I think we should uh, uh, see how things go. And uh, say so I'll put you down for a couple of years anyway. Okay. Um, if you find vision changes or you've got any issues, you okay. can pop back in and see us here. Yeah. All right. Any questions at all? Um, I think... Yeah, no, no, I can't think of anything. Okay. Too bad. Well, if you've got any yeah. questions, we can. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I knew one would go. Um, so, if I am, if I am occasionally lazy and yes. I am watching television without yeah. my glasses on, yeah. from far away, and I can feel a bit of eye strain, but I'm not using it. You're okay them, with it, yeah. Am I making them worse? No. Okay. No. I'm glad to say the glasses are, are not um, what's called therapeutic. They they only age your vision when it's the wrong. Okay. It's not going to suddenly, you're going to go, oh, I'm going to go much more short-sighted if I don't wear them. Okay. Okay, all right. There is some evidence saying that if you do a lot of close work, just oh, generally, all right. computer screens, devices, yeah. uh, that it may be encouraged you to become more myopic. Um, but you're getting more into the safe country now, uh, at your time, shall we say. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so uh, it's good to give yourself breaks from devices and things like this. So, yeah. if you're doing a little bit of close work, just make sure you look away from the screen every now and again. Um, okay. Not just the 20 minutes every four hours or whatever it is. So, just have a little mini break. So, because yeah. we're our um, our eyes are not designed to be fixed at one point. We, we, we're never really made to look at one thing for many hours. We okay. were used, you know, designed to sit in tree tops looking at wildebeest running past yeah and uh, yeah. and and then you know pick at something close to and things like this not just look close to so our eyes are not pretty well adapted for for close stuff so we mm -hmm. make that uh, sort of environment again so we do a little bit we look at the window a little bit we look over here we're in the cross an office um my best advice is though don't ever look at the clock though because that'll just drive you mad <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, out the window is much better. <laughs> but yeah, yeah just 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 develop a, a little habit so that uh, yeah, okay. you're not overdoing it. Okay. Yeah, I always thought it was like digital versus like an actual book, and yeah. then that was a break. But I guess it's actually any cl close any... to yeah, yeah. So okay. so it's good just to relax your eyes and let them refocus in the distance, uh, and then bring them back. And, yeah, of course we've all got to use devices and yeah. things, but it's uh, just nice to give it a little break. Oh, thank you, that was actually right. <laughs> really nice to know. Okay. Yeah, Super, asked. that's okay. okay. So uh, we'll see you a couple of years, if not before, okay? Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Well, the minister, so, so you've not been here before for your eye test, have you? No, it's the first Sorry. time. Um, and do you know roughly when your last eye test was? Gosh, um, more than like two years ago. Okay. <laughs> Fine.
So, and so your glasses, what do you wear them for? Do you wear them all the time or just for specific things? Um, I mainly wear them for like watching the television mm -hmm. or looking at things far away. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And do you drive? No. Fine. Um, and any problems with your vision with them? Um, do you struggle to see a small detail with them on? No, when I've got them on, I'm mainly okay. Good, good, good. And when you're reading um, small print close up in a book or on the screen, um, presumably you don't wear your glasses. Yeah, no, I don't read my glasses for Fine. close Fine. And any problems with your vision for that? Uh, no, not for that. No. Okay, good. Good, and have you noticed any other problems like any headaches recently? Um, yes, although I think it's likely doing, due to looking at the computer too much. Mm. But yeah, I do get an occasional eye strain. Okay. Are you on the computer for a large part of your day? Probably. Like yes, yeah. Fine. Almost entirely. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. And it sounds like a funny question, but when you get your headaches, are they more towards the front of your head or on the top or on the side? Ah, uh, the front. Yeah. Okay, fine. And do you notice any flashing lights or any black spots floating across your vision? Uh, not that I can think of, no. Okay, good. Fine, and have you, and I'm presuming that you don't wear contact lenses? No, I don't. Fine. Um, so is it just a routine sight test as far, uh, today as far as you're concerned? Yeah, yeah just okay. a general health checkup kind of thing. Sure. Um, so have you ever had any need to go to the doctor or the hospital concerning your eyes in the past? Um, I any? think when I was a lot younger one time for mm. conjunctivitis. Okay, fine. Yeah. Oh, are you doing well? <laughs> Um, and are you on any regular medication? Uh, no, no. Okay, great. Um, and any allergies like hay fever? Hay fever, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Has it kicked in yet? Um, uh, it's actually not too bad so far this year. Good. So, yeah. Okay, and anybody in the family with glaucoma or any other eye diseases that you know of? Uh, not that I know of. Okay, great. And any diabetes in the family that you know of? Yes, yes. My grandma and Good. my aunt. Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, and any particular sports or hobbies or anything that you do that you use your, use your eyes for? Reading? <laughs> <laughs> no sports. <laughs> You're not the sporty type. <laughs> fine. And out of interest, how did you hear about us? Uh, online by Google. So. Okay, fine. Well, Melissa, would you like to pop your glasses on for me? Oh, yes. Does you have a colleague getting back? Great. So we'll check your vision with those first. Thank you. <laughs> a very nice baby. <laughs> Well, if I can ask you to cover up your left eye for me, just with the palm of your hand, great. So I'll bring the letters up on the screen behind me. Um, what's the lowest line you can manage to read there? Um, L, C, N, K. Okay, very good. And you don't have to worry too much about the bottom, but could you make out any from the top or middle if you can? Um, I think I can do the middle, actually. V, great. F, L, N. Very good, excellent. Uh, and then how about with your other eye, so if you swap over, brilliant, have a few blinks. Um, and these lines are all the same size, and um, could you make out any from the top? Uh, D, N, Z, L. Very good. And then any from the middle, if you can, there. Hope they're not steaming up too much. <laughs> yeah, with the mask. Feel um, free to lower your mask, I don't know if you need to. <laughs> um, the middle, V, F, L. Um, very good, excellent. So if you have a look with both eyes together now, um, you can look at the E just at the beginning of the top line. Uh, so I'm just going to cover and uncover your eyes. I'll just check how well your eye muscles are working together. Okay, very good. Lovely. And then if you can look at the H for me down here next to my finger, I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay, brilliant, thank you. Good, so now then I'll just show you what the photograph 
um, of your retina looks like. <clears throat> so this camera um, that we have is a very useful one because um, it looks much further out into the periphery of the retina so we get a much wider uh, and better view of the retina in general. Um, yeah, good, so, <laughs> yeah. um, so this is your right eye first of all, your right retina. Um, good, so your retina is looking great, perfectly flat and intact. Good, excellent. Very good. And the eye is the only part of the body where um, one can look at a person's blood vessels um, directly. Um, so yours look perfectly healthy. Uh, sometimes certain general health conditions can show up, like diabetes and um, high blood pressure. Um, but yours look like they're in very good condition. Wow. Yeah. Very good. And this orange yellowy circle here is the head of the optic nerve. Um, and that's the nerve that goes from the back of the eye and to the brain ultimately. Um, and it's affected in various eye conditions and most commonly glaucoma, but yours looks perfectly healthy. Um, and also just to let you know, the pressure inside your eyes is absolutely fine and not too high, which is good. That's Because <laughs> um, with conditions like glaucoma, the pressure is normally high. Uh, this is very good. Excellent. Um, it's fascinating. <laughs> it's a very nice view that we get. That's just a bit of hair there. <laughs> um, uh, and with this machine, we also get um, a black and white view, um, which is very useful because it'll sort of highlight anything that fluoresces easily, like hemorrhages and things. Um, but yours looks great, nice and uniform. Very good. Excellent. Um, and the left eye um, looks like a mirror image. Okay, good. Lovely. So, so again, your retina looks great. Perfectly flat and healthy. Very good. And again, your blood vessels look perfectly healthy, as does the nerve. Mm, very good. Now, just have a look at the black and white view. Good. So that looks brilliant as well. Perfectly uniform, um, no concerns there at all. Um, do you have any questions at all about those? I do, I do think so. <laughs> well, they look great. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen anything like it before. It's fascinating. <laughs> oh, good, it is, definitely. Well, I'll pop in a few details. Um, I'll also have a look at your eyes under this machine here. That'd be so. Shall I take the uh, yes, glasses? please. Yeah. Thank you. So I'll slide this machine across. Um, so this one would just be a bright light. Um, good, so chin on the chin rest, thank you, and forehead touching the bar. Good, is the height okay for you? Uh, yeah. Great, so I'm just going to turn these lights down. Okay. Um, but you can stare straight ahead back at the screen behind me, it's fine. Lovely, so chin on, brilliant. Um, so yes, you can stare straight ahead back at the chart. Um, so first of all, then we'll just check your pupil reaction. Good, excellent. Good, uh, if you can look down to the ground for me. Brilliant. Good, lovely, look straight ahead once more. Great, so now if I can ask you to have a look at my ear for me, my left ear. Good, I'm just going to hold this lens to your right, but it won't touch your eye there. So if you look up to the ceiling, great. Good, lovely. And then just with your eyes to your right hand side. Brilliant, and to your left.
Good, and now it down to the ground. Great, so I'll just lift your lid up now. Good. Okay, good, excellent. Good, so now if I can ask you to have a look at my other ear. Are you okay there? Yeah. yeah. Great. Good, so if you look up again for the ceiling. Good, and just with your eyes to your right hand side. Good, and to your left. and now look down to the ground because again I'll just lift your lid excellent good thank you Melissa you can sit back now. thank you brilliant so I'll just turn the lights back up So Melissa, that all looks absolutely fine. I was checking the more um, anterior layers of your eyes as well, but no concerns at all. That's good. <laughs> um, so now then we'll have a check of your glasses prescription. Okay. Uh, so if I can ask you to look through these for me, um, like a pair of binoculars. <laughs> so you can rest your head on there, brilliant. Good, is the height okay? Uh, yes. Okay, lovely. So, so we'll do your right eye first. So I've made your left eye um, a little bit blurry. So it might feel a bit strange, um, but if you can try to keep both eyes open for me. Um, so if you look back over to the middle line, um, is that middle line clearer with number one now, or clearer with number two? The number one. Okay, good. And then between number three now and number four? Number three. Okay, good. And then between number one now and number two? Number one. Okay, great. So if you have a look at the numbers on the red and the green, uh, which stand out more to do you think, which look clearer? Uh, the numbers on the red or the numbers on the green? Or are they just the same? Um, I think the red. Okay, great. And how about now? They're about the same. Okay, great. So now if you can have a look at these black circles, are they clearer and rounder with either Number one or number two? Number one. Okay, good. And then between number three now and number four? Three. Okay, good. And then between number one now and number two? Number one. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so looking back over to the middle line, is it clearer with number one now or clearer with number two? Number one. Good, excellent. And then between number three now and number four. Number three. Okay, good, lovely. Um, is the middle line um, okay to read there now? Yeah, V, F, L, N. Good, excellent. Any at all from the bottom line there if you can? Uh -oh. Don't read, you can't. Yeah, no, I can't <laughs> read the bottom. That's absolutely <laughs> fine. That's very good. Um, so we'll just swap over and let's do your other eye. Brilliant, have a few blinks. So again, looking at the middle line, is it clearer with number one now, or clearer with number two? Uh, number one. Good, and then between number three now, and number four. Or is number four just smaller? So that was number three, and mm. that one's four. I think four is clearer. Okay, good, and then between number one now, and number two. Yeah, number one's much better. Okay, good, and then between number three now and number four. Number three. Okay, good. So again, if you look at the numbers on the red and the green, um, do either stand out more now? Yeah, the red does. Okay, great. And how about now? Uh, now the green does. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so now if you look at these back circles, um, are they clearer and rounder with either Number one or number two? Uh, 
Oh, are they the same as each other? That was number one. And that was number two. I think more or less the same. <laughs> Good. It's fine, it's a valid answer. <laughs> and then between number three now and number four. Number three is better. Okay, good. And then between number one now and number two. Number one. Okay, great. Good, excellent. So looking back over to the middle line, is it clearer with number one now or clearer with number two? Um, or are they just the same? The same. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and then between number three, which is now, or clearer with number four? Uh, number three. Okay, brilliant, good. Lovely, and is the middle line still okay to read there? Uh, yeah, B, F, L, N. Okay, very good, excellent. So let's unblur this eye now. So looking at the middle line with both eyes together, is it clearer with number one now, or clearer with number two? Number one. Good, and then between number three now, and number four, or is number four just smaller? Yeah, number, number four three. is just smaller, I think. Okay, good, excellent. Um, and could you make out any bit from the bottom line now? Possibly. <laughs> it is very <laughs> tiny, so don't worry if you can't. <laughs> I think the first one's either a H or an N. Good, excellent. R, K, C or G. Very yeah, <laughs> good, excellent. Lovely, thank you. Thank you, Melissa, you can thank sit you. back now, brilliant. Okay, let's take this away. Okay, good. So then, Melissa, well, in terms of your um, glasses prescription, um, actually, it looks to have stayed exactly the same, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're, I'm sure you know you're short-sighted in both eyes uh, and you're minus one in both eyes. Nice. So, uh, and, yeah, no, no astigmatism. Um, so, yeah, how do, you, how do you feel about your glasses? Yeah, yeah, that was good. It actually surprised me that I was able to read the small ones at the yeah, end. Very good. <laughs> Not many people can. <laughs> Excellent. Um, good, so you're happy with your glasses? Yes, yeah, I think so. Okay, but. good. And do you always protect your eyes from UV? Do you have a good pair of sunglasses that you wear? I do not. Oh. Well, because you've got quite light colour eyes, um, it's a good idea to protect your eyes from UV for the long-term health of your eyes. Oh, okay. So it's something to think about. You can have prescription ones or, or not, whatever you prefer. Uh, does the colour of the eyes affect that? Um, yes, because your light, your eyes would let more light through than say mine, because oh. um, there's less pigment, less melanin there to absorb the light, oh. so more passes through. I never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, good, good idea for you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never wear sunglasses. That's so bad. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You're not in the habit. No. <laughs> oh yeah, no good, good habit to get into. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well. Uh, but like I said, health-wise, you're either looking excellent. Uh, so do you have any questions at all? Um, I don't think so right now. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. that's all good. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Good, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem at all. <laughs> oh, no problem. I hope it, I hope it was useful. Yeah, no way. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so no, there's no, there's no real need to change your glasses unless you particularly want a new style. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would think about some sunglasses given that it's been, been sunny recently and hopefully more sunny weather to come. Yeah, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How often do you suggest rechecking? Uh, so we're due for another artist in a year. A year. Um, okay. If it's okay by you, you'll receive a reminder from us in a year. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Great. Who brought you to us today? Um, so I have a few issues. Yeah. My main concern is eye strain okay. in particular and okay. I also get some quite bad headaches recently. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not entirely sure if they're stress related okay. or computer use related. Oh, so that's what I wanted to ask you. Computer. Yeah. Uh, how often do you use a computer? Um, I mean my full time job involves me working on the computer all day. Is so it? Yeah. yeah. And um, do you tend to take breaks with the computer? Um, probably not often enough. Yeah. Just my lunch break, about an hour. Okay, okay. So you're and and where you are sitting on the computer, is it? Where well, have you got the windows in front of you, on the sides of you? Uh, to my right. To your right. Yeah. It's on the side. And what about what's the lighting like? Um, relatively bright. Slightly yeah. brighter than this room. Okay. And is it like strobe lighting? No, no, no just normal. Normal. Yeah. And uh, the computer itself, the screen, you know. Is it quite reflective? 
or is it is it okay? Do you find that quite comfortable? Um, yeah, it's quite comfortable. Quite I comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I can't see myself in it or anything. Okay, so it's not too much reflection. And when you talk about headaches, where are the headaches? Where, um, can you point to them? Yeah, it's always around like this area. Oh, okay, yeah. So that yeah. could be related to eyes, we don't know. And do you get the headaches um, after you've been at work all day? Yeah, it's always in the evening. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. around and five o'clock. <laughs> do you work in the e- in the weekends as well on a computer? Um, not for work, but yeah. often for leisure and also on the computer. So then, do you think you get the same type of headaches then at the weekend or less? Um, probably less. So yeah. Okay. Because that might be, you know, eye strain, headaches, where you're describing and when they're arriving may indicate that it could be related to the computer, you know. Okay. But what we'll do is we'll do an eye examination and we'll just see, you know, what, what, what's going on with your eyes. Okay. You know? When mm-hmm. was your last eye examination? Um, about two months ago. Two months ago, yeah. okay. And at that time, what, what did they come up with? Um, it was mainly to do more with whether I was, because uh, I can't see things very far away, yeah, yeah. and so it was testing my current prescription for that. And had there been um, much change? Not really, no. Not much change. So, yeah. And were you getting the headaches then? Uh, yeah. You were? And what did they say about that then? Uh, the headaches, I think it was more, I wasn't using my glasses enough. Okay. okay. Um, but I don't wear them when I'm at the computer because I can see the computer quite fine. Okay, because they're mainly for distance. Yeah. Have you got them with you? Let me just check them. Thank see. you. Oh, yeah, that's a, it's definitely a short-sighted prescription, isn't it? And it's not that strong. And the headaches, you know, are they are they sharp pain or is it a throbbing pain? It's more throbbing. Throbbing, yeah. yeah. And does it go away with paracetamols or just resting away from the computer? Um, both work okay. on it. Okay. Both? Yeah, so if I take medicine it does get okay. better. Okay. Your general health, how is that? Uh, probably good, good yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you on any medication at all? Uh, no. And have you had to visit an eye hospital for any treatment, surgery, as no. a child or an adult? No. And anyone in your family with any eye disease at all that not, you know of? Not that I know of. Okay, all right. So basically you're getting eye strain and you're getting headaches. You're noticing it more yeah. at the end of a day. Yeah. Uh, less at the weekends, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, well you said it's a bit throbbing. Yeah. Uh, and it gets better with Paris, or with, like, yeah, with medicine, medicine and things rest like that. as well. Yeah. And you've noticed that over the last how many? I forgot to ask you how many uh, weeks. Um, I think it's probably been consistent since I started my job a year ago. Okay, so about a year. Yeah. Okay, because of the computer work, probably yeah. as well. Yeah. The thing with computers is that they can cause eye strain. You know, yeah. especially if you're not breaking often. Mm. not getting up off your chair, maybe going to get water and things like that. Yeah. Do you mainly work at home or in the office? In the office. Okay, so so at least you've got that downtime when you're journeying yeah. back and forth. Okay, but let me start the exam and then see where we are because until I start, I won't know. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Okay, so just to let you know, everything's been cleaned up because after every patient, we, we have to clean up. Yeah. So that's all been done before. So I'll put this on. Oh, thank you. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Okay, that's great. So what I'm going to put up is the current prescription that you have. And we'll go from there, yeah? Let me first of all just take a measurement from you. If you look at me a minute, just look at this eye. And then look at this one. Great, thank you. Perfect. Okay. If you look at the letter chart in the mirror, Yep. How far down can you go? Can you see any at the top at the moment? Um, I can read the top one. L, T, M or H, Z and okay. then S. Okay, and then after that's difficult, yeah? Yeah, I could probably try. Give it a um, go. N, C, Z, V, and then I honestly can't tell what the last That's is. fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put up the prescription that was given to you in your glasses. Oh, wow. That's a lot better, isn't it? So yeah. how far down can you go now? Um, I think I can read everything. Try the bottom. Z, L, T, H, C, Good. or G. Yeah, C. Can you still see that there? Oh, yeah, that's much clearer. And what about when I do that? Uh, yeah, 
compared yeah. to that. This one's better. Yeah. A bit better that way, yeah? Yeah. So again, I'm just going to pop the lens up. And you can still see that there, can you? Yeah. Okay. And can you still see it here, or is that worse? It's slightly worse. Better without it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. That's excellent. Now, if you look at the top line, yeah? Yeah. Look at the letter O at the end, yeah? Okay. All right. Keep watching the letter O. Do you see much difference between that one, yeah? Yeah. And that one? This very similar. one's clearer. That yeah, one. this one's slightly more foggy. This is slightly clearer, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pop that lens in. And can you still see the, the O? Yeah? yeah. Now, if you look down to the bottom line, you can see that, can you? Yes. And do you see much difference between this lens and without it? Um, I feel without it is slightly clearer. Slightly sharper, yeah? Yeah. That's fine, good. That's great. Excellent. So I'm going to do the other eye now, okay? So again, this is without the prescription oh on. Gosh. <laughs> it's a bit weird, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Can you see the top at all now? Um, D, D, mm -hmm. L, G, yeah. E, B. A bit more difficult, isn't it? Though? Yeah, it's really so blurry. If I, if, I get you if this again is your current prescription, okay? Oh. Can you still see that? Yeah, I can right. see can it now. Can you see the bottom now? Uh, G L T G E. What does that do? Better or worse? Um, I think it. Compared to that, I can't really tell the difference. Maybe it's slightly foggier. Slightly with? better without. Yes. Okay. Good. If you look at the top line again, look at the letter C again. At the, yeah. Okay. Do you see much difference between that one? Yeah. Yeah. And that one. This one's much sharper. So if I put that lens in, yeah. You know, would you say it makes a difference to the letter at the bottom of the chart, the lettering? Oh yeah, they're much sharper. Clear, much sharper yeah. with it. Read it for me again. C, I think it's a C. Yeah. yeah. C L T G E. Much better, isn't it this time? Would oh, you yeah. say that's better or worse? Uh, or about well, the same? Worse? Yeah, worse. Better without it. Yeah. yeah much okay. better without. Okay, so there looks like there possibly is a little bit of a change to your prescription as well. Oh wow. What a huge change. Now, if I show it to you with both eyes, yeah, are you ready? Okay. Blink, 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 just to adjust to that. Oh, it's so clear. That's a lot sharper <laughs> there, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is do something called balancing, yeah, just to make sure the eyes are seeing well together, yeah? Okay. So looking at the bottom line there, yeah? yeah? If I place this lens on top, would you say it's just as good or better without? Um... I think better without. Without slightly, yeah. yeah. It's a subtle difference, isn't it? Yeah, very subtle. So once again, are you ready? Okay. Once again, better with um, or without. Gosh, it might be better with. Slightly better with? Yeah. Good, okay, so I'm just going to change that lens. So I'm going to place another lens in. Okay. Ready? Yeah? Yeah. And again, better with. Or without? Without. This time, yeah? And then with both your eyes, that's pretty good there, isn't it? Nice wow. and sharp, yeah? Yeah, it's so sharp. Right, so let me make a note of that, okay? So what I'm going to do now is make you very blurred, okay? Okay. So if you look straight ahead for me, I'm literally just going to shine some lights in your eye, okay? All right, I want you to just look straight ahead for me, okay? Okay. Um, and I'm just going to shine some lights in there. I'm going to have to turn the lights down for a bit, okay? Oh, okay. So if you look straight, don't look at my light at all. Okay. Keep looking straight. This just helps me confirm that what I've got for you is correct, so that's good. So I'm going to just take that away, and then we're going to look at something for close, okay? So if you look at this reading chart, okay, you're still able to see the bottom line there. Yep. Yeah. And you know where you use your computer? Yeah. How far away is your computer, would you say? Um, about, about this far, yeah. Okay. So we just put a measurement on it just to confirm. So it's about 52 centimetres roughly, okay? So keeping it there, are you able to see N10? There, yes. That one there. Yeah. Anything below that you can see? I think I can see all of it. All them. of it. Now yeah. keep that position okay. and I'm going to take this off. Mm. Do you see a difference at all? Yeah. Which one do you think looks better? 
Uh, it's much better with the glasses. Yes, yeah, so on. now you know what's going on. Yes. <laughs> so although you are short-sighted, meaning you can see short, the yeah. problem is the short-sightedness that you are allows you to see short till about here. <laughs> okay. So, roughly. Yeah, about here. Yeah. Anything beyond that becomes then the far side, you know, far away. Yeah. So therefore, that's why you found that this was better okay. with the glasses than without. So imagine the strain of your eyes because you're not using the glasses effectively, yeah? Yeah. So not everyone needs glasses for looking at computer if they're short-sighted. But in your case, subjectively, like, you appreciated it. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, I wouldn't. I would. I would agree with you. You don't really need it for digital stuff, but yeah. it's just beyond uh, what you need. You know how how far you can get up to. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm quite short sighted. So my maximum I can see without my glasses is just here. Oh, okay. But anything just beyond it, I suddenly need my glasses. But I'm short sighted. Yeah? yeah. So in theory, I only need it for there. Yeah. But because I'm so short sighted, oh, okay. you know, it's to do with. It's called focal length of the lens, you know. It's it's how far your focal length goes to. So okay. just confirming again. Yeah. Stretch your arms out to where your computer normally is. Yeah. About there. Yeah. Yeah? You can see it, yeah? Yeah. So if I took it away... Yeah. It's, it, a, it's a lot worse. It's a lot worse, yeah? But bring it closer a little bit. Now it's a lot better, isn't it? Yeah. So let's say if your computer was here or you were on an iPad, uh, you wouldn't need this. Yeah. But because it's going beyond what we call your focal length or focal point, you then need this. Um. So you're better off probably putting glasses on for computers. But we'll discuss that at the end, okay. a bit more detail, yeah? All Thank right? you. So let me put this back on you again, and then I'll, then I'll get you to take your put your mask back on while I take this off. But not yet. Give me a second, yeah? So if you look straight ahead for me and just look at the letter, maybe the P there, yeah? Okay. I'm just looking at your muscle movement at the moment. I just want to make sure your eye muscles are working together as a pair. Okay. That's perfect. Now look towards me. Okay. Concentrate on the F. Thank you. Watch the F. That's perfect. Well done. That's great. And blink. Good. I'm going to take that off now. And we're going to just do that again. Okay. So if I get you to now look at the letter F. Okay, just watch the F. Hold on. And blink. Good. Now watch the letter E. Concentrate on the E, concentrate on the E. Well done, well done, well done. Perfect. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to get you to just look at my, uh, my light. Okay, just look at my light. Look at me now. So keep your head really still. Look at this this tip of my pen, okay? And just follow it with your eyes. We're just looking at what we call muscle movements just to make sure they're nice and smooth. If there's any issues, then I'll investigate them further. But all is looking well. That's perfect, thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move on to looking at the ocular health. So I'm going to look at the front of your eye. I'm going to take your eye pressures. We're going to look at the back of your eye with a digital image and then we're going to do something called your peripheral vision. All right, okay, okay so that's the next stage. Before we go on to that, is there anything you want to ask about the prescription? Um, when you said it had changed, does that, I think I was told I was minus one. You does were, that mean it's got Yeah, so in your worse, glasses or? actually, in your glasses yeah. you're minus one, two, five in both oh, okay. of them. They're, that's what's in there now. Okay. So in your right eye now, you've gone down to minus one. Oh, okay. So you were one two five in here, and okay. you've gone down to minus one. Does that mean I'm better? That's better, better in the right. Oh, yeah. Okay. But but on the left <laughs> eye, you're a minus one two five in your glasses. I'm still getting. Um, sorry, uh, you've gone down to minus one in your in your left sided prescription. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you've got this slight additional lens called astigmatism. I don't know if you've heard of uh, that word before. I believe my mum has yeah. that. So astigmatism isn't isn't anything to be worried about. It's just the shape of the eye. Instead of the eye being like a football shape. It's a bit 
bit like a rugby ball. Not the physical shape, but the optics formed in the brain is more sort of like a rugby ball shaped. Yeah. So astigmatism, yours is only a quarter, like mine. Mine's hardly anything. Okay. But that quarter can come and go in the sense some years you may appreciate the quarter, but other years you may not even appreciate it. So when they did these glasses, there was no astigmatism in them. But that's probably because you didn't notice the difference. But today you, you actually yeah. definitely said, oh, it's much clearer with that lens. So that showed you that you appreciated that quarter astigmatism. So in your new glasses, I would probably suggest that we put the left astigmatism in, even though it's only a quarter, because you appreciate it. Okay. Yeah? But of course, because you've never worn it before, it might take a little bit of time to just adjust to it. Okay. But at least it will give you the sharpness of vision, both in the distance and when you're looking at your, your, your computer as well. Yeah? Okay. So effectively, there's not a huge change. Yeah. You know, if you didn't want to change glasses, you don't have to. Okay. But I've seen a change, and you appreciated that subtle change. Okay. Yeah. And also with the digital use, using it with the digital, it will also help. Okay. The other thing is you've got an anti-glare coating on there, which yeah. is good. Okay. But actually, when you're using digital devices, there's a lot of um, advice on something called blue control. You know, having blue light controlled. Because digital devices let out a lot of blue light. And with these uh, anti-glares, yes, it helps, definitely. But the blue anti-glare, effectively, just calms the, the brightness of the uh, screen down. So, again, a lot of people appreciate, like, a blue filter on oh, top. Okay. The other thing is you can, you can get sort of what we call digital prescriptions, which means that the eye... Because your eye is mainly for short-sightedness, so you really only need them for reading. But the the issues you're having are here. Yeah? yeah. What you do is you get something called a soft focusing lens. So the top part of your lens is for the distance. But as you traverse downwards to look at your intermediate, like digital, meaning computer, and close, you get like a softening focus in the power in order to help that ease of, of vision. So they're called um, digital device lenses, you know. That could be something we could look into as well. They come, in our case, we automatically put that special coating in those because they are purely for digital device. And as well, you can drive with them or you can go to the theatre with them and things like that. That's not a problem. Okay. So that's something we can talk about afterwards, about what we should do next. Yeah. Okay. But of course, there's a lot of information. We can discuss it, you know, and okay. then you can decide what you think is best for you as well. Yeah? yeah, thank you. So what we're now going to move on to is um, looking at the front of the eye. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, machine. Thank so again, you. everything's been cleaned from the last patient. So I'm going to get you to put your chin on that rest. Forehead against the bar. Pull your forehead forward as well. That's it. And it's just light, okay? It doesn't hurt, yeah? And I've got a screen in front of you as well. So I'm not going to touch you, and I will put my gloves on if we need to, okay? At the moment I'm just looking. Great. So I'm just going to pop my gloves on. Right. Just look straight ahead for me. <coughs> and look up to the ceiling. That's great. I'm just going to pull it down, okay? Lift your head up a little bit. Is that okay for a bit? Yeah. Look right up. That's perfect. Look down. Great. Look straight. Good. Look up again. Keep your head forward as much as you can if you don't mind, yeah? Look up again. And look down. And look straight ahead for me. That's great. And look down for me. When I touch you there, is there any pain? No. It's all comfortable, yeah? Yeah. Very good. And then, when I get, do that, is that comfortable as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Sit back for me. So the front of the eye looks very good, actually. It's quite nice. Okay. So I'm now going to do something called your eye pressure. Okay. So it's like a pressure measurement. 
um, of the eyeball itself, the tension of the eyeball, okay? Just to make sure that all is well, okay? We do this for everyone. Can you see a green dot? Okay. So just stare at the green dot, okay? And I'm going to take three measurements, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. We're about to start. Here we go. Keep very still. Good. <laughs> Another more. Ready? Keep your eyes wide open. Sometimes it just takes a bit of time. Wide open. Wonderful. And just one more time. Wonderful. Good. Now we're going to do the other eye. Keep your eyes wide open as you can. Ready? Good. Two more, okay? Thank you. Wonderful. And let's give it one more go. <laughs> Wonderful. You did well. <laughs> That's really Thank good. You. Okay. So your pressures are... Um, Average is 15 and 13, which is actually fine. Okay. Okay? Good. That's great. So that's measuring uh, the eyeball pressure. We always do that for... Uh, you've heard about a disease called glaucoma? Yeah. Yeah. So glaucoma is characterised by many things, of which one of them is high pressure, basically. But it's a group of diseases characterised by different things. So what we do for everyone is we just make sure we've got like a base pressure reading so that we can always monitor that, okay? All right. And generally, you know, glaucoma runs in families. So if you don't have a family history, it's un it's unlikely you will. However, it's because you're short-sighted, it's always good to take all these readings so that we know, you know? Mm -hmm. So the other thing we're now going to do is we're going to look at the back of your eye and then we're going to, with a, with, a, with a camera, with a digital camera, and we're also going to do your peripheral vision. So for us to do that, we're going to go to another room. We're going to do something called your field of vision, yeah? Okay. Come and sit over here for me. Take a seat there. So this basically, it's a field of vision in the sense it looks at your peripheral vision, but it also looks at the way the nerve, the optic nerve, travels to the back of the brain, how the information goes across. So your retina is sensitive to different levels of light so in certain disease those levels go down or you get sort of parts of your visual field that are missing so what we do is we do a visual field for everyone and in your case because it's the first time we've met it's like a base reading yeah okay and then every time you come to see me we'll always compare all right okay so i'm going to set you up okay all right so what i'm going to do now is just pop this over your left eye like a pirate patch here. Is that okay, yeah? yeah? This is your button. So if you grab it yourself, can you see there's a blue at the top here? There's a button there. Yeah. yeah that's your button, yeah? Can you see that red light at the moment? Yeah. So during the test, you're going to follow the red light, okay? okay? And for every green light that shows up, you press the button on your thumb. Okay. So if you see four green lights, you press it four times. Okay. If you see three green lights, you press it three times, yeah? Okay. But the main thing is you always follow the red light. Right. Got the idea? Yeah? I think so. Yeah. And sometimes those green lights will be dull, sometimes they'll be bright, yeah? Okay. That's the nature of the assessment. Okay. All right? For each green light, push the button once. One. One. You're doing great. One. One. One, two, three. Follow the red light. One, two, three. One, two, three. Follow the red light. One. One, you're doing well. One, you're almost finished. One. 
Exam complete. Right, take a seat for me. So we're going to now take an actual image of the back of the arm. I'm just going to enter your details in, yeah? Keep looking at the green dot for me. Keep very still. And I'm literally just going to flash some light on you. Did you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> it's bright, isn't it? Beautiful image, that's lovely. Okay, are you ready for the other eye? So same thing again, okay? Again, look at the, uh, the dot here. Yeah? Keep very still. And again, there's going to be a flash of light. Excellent. Beautiful image. Okay, let me just save those images. And then I'll show you, okay? Come on over and I'll show you. So this is the back of your left eye. Oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful, yeah. So this is all, these are your blood vessels that come in from our brain. There's a whole pool of blood vessels that come in in the brain and that's called the circle of Willis and then all those vessels come into the eye, into your optic nerve, through your optic nerve and onto the retina. So this is your optic nerve, the sort of pale part which is the nerve that travels to the back of your brain. And that's what we were measuring when we were looking at the field of vision, just to make sure the nerve is in good, is in good condition, basically. And this is called your macula. This is the centre of vision. You know, when you get diseases like macular degeneration, when you're older, in a lot of cases, that dark area becomes a very pale grey colour, you know? So in your case, everything is healthy. You know? Oh, that's good. And it's bright pink because of your race, your white Caucasian. So your retina is a lot pinker. And oh. say if you took the same image of me, I'd be like a dark pink, more like a tiger type of skin. Oh, it's called okay. a tigroid. 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 Yeah. Whereas this is very pink. And that's oh, wow. because you don't have as much pigment as me. Okay. Yeah? And you're you yourself are very blonde, blue eyes. <laughs> so therefore you'll be even pinker. Okay, yeah? wow. Yeah. So that tells you of of your race as well. That's fascinating. Isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just going to uh, go on to the other eye now. Okay. So this is now your right eye we're looking at. Yeah. So it's almost symmetrically opposite. Almost, yeah. yeah. Nothing is equal, but it's very similar. Again, all the features are healthy. These are all your blood vessels, arteries, and veins coming out from where your optic nerve is. That's your macula, and all of it looks really healthy. So all is well. So as I showed you, the back of the eye looks nice and healthy. No problems there. And we've taken an image so we can compare it every year okay. right? or every couple of years, whenever you decide to come in. Okay. Your visual field has turned out very nice. It's the way your optic nerve, how it sees light as it transfers it you know, to the back of the brain. So but just to make sure that even the headaches are nothing sinister. All right. But that's proving that the optic nerve is healthy as well. All right. Okay, so your good. visual field is absolutely fine. Yeah. Your pressures, the eye pressure that I took, absolutely within normal limits okay? okay so i can see that your ocular health is very good the external eye that i looked at with the other instrument nice and clear all right That's so no it. problems there so prescription wise let's talk about that so as i said you in the, your own glasses you're minus 125 and that means you're short-sighted so in theory yes you use them only for distance your new prescription i'm actually getting you slightly better at minus one okay okay but the left eye as i mentioned the astigmatism bit is about a quarter, all right? So your prescription has changed, mm -hmm. okay? But you also noted that when I showed you the computer, with and without the glasses on, you appreciated it with the glasses. So I would suggest that you definitely wear the glasses for close work, all right? That mm -hmm. will help you, okay? Okay. You can start off by just getting a new, uh, you know, new prescription to what I've found today and then see how you get on with that. The other option, as I mentioned to you, are these sort of, they're almost like digital glasses, yeah? The company that we deal with is is a particular lens manufacturer that deals with digital lenses, where what they do is they, your distance is as normal, but as you start to look closer, you know, towards the computer and towards reading, there's like a soft focus that they in, put into the lens, okay? Which just helps you focus at your digital devices more comfortably. So that's another option for you, okay. should you wish to, to do that. And then they also put in what we call a blue, sort of almost like a blue control, which we can put in just to help the glare as well, okay? And I think that will help you with your eye strain yeah. as well as the sort of the headaches you're getting. Because the headaches you're getting seem to be more related to the actual um, computer use. The other thing is with computer use, you know, you should take regular breaks. 
Okay. There's a there's a sort of a, a figure of 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes of working, yeah. 20 seconds away at something 20 yards, meaning far away. So oh, not, okay. not looking at 20 minutes there, and then you look at your phone. Yeah. Just, <laughs> no, you've got to take your eye away just to relax the eye. Okay. So therefore that 20, 20, 20. And I know realistically it's difficult to look every 20 minutes, but as much as you can, yeah. take a take a sort of a bathroom break or a or a water break yeah. come away from your digital device does that okay. make sense because yeah. really that is what you is the key i mean i don't use computers that much and but i do even with my sort of quick looking at you i still get eye strain so it's important that you you take some time out the other thing is when we look at a computer we tend to stare we don't blink oh really all right we tend to stare so the other thing you could do is put post-its on your computer, really pink ones, and put the word blink on it, on the top of the, you know, where the screen is, and on the right-hand side of the screen. So every time you look at these as you're typing, it'll just make you blink, because it's so bright. Yeah. And it's saying blink, so you'll just blink. Okay. That's another thing that you could do that will help you. That All right? Really yeah. Useful. So I know that's a lot of information, okay? Um, lots to digest. Um, the eye muscles and the way they work together are nice and healthy. So it's got nothing to do with any weakness that you have, that you're getting the, the digital eye strain. I think that is just very common. Anything you want to ask? Um, no, I'm quite, it's quite reassuring to hear that other people have like a similar yeah. eye strain. Yeah. So as long as there's nothing ominous no, about there it. No, definitely, definitely yeah. not. Yeah. And of course, you know, if the headaches get worse or you start getting concerned about them, then you should see your GP. In your case, it is related. But we won't know till we plan the action, you know. Of course, start wearing your glasses for the work. Mm. Get them sorted out to your current prescription. But whether you go around the route of having like a digital version, that's up to you. Okay. Okay? All right, I'll leave yeah. that for you to decide. Thank you. Okay, so the next eye examination roughly is on, I, I call people on a yearly basis only yearly. because I like to have that yearly contact. If you have any concerns between now and then, just give me a shout, okay? And then okay. maybe we can then discuss your glasses um, if you have the time today. If not, then we can schedule you in uh, okay. to have a chat about glasses. All right? Thank you so much. All right, lovely to meet you. Thank you for All right. having me. Excellent. Thank you. Awesome. So I guess we should start by asking when your last eye test was. Yeah, so I think probably about, yeah, I'll say six months ago. Six months yeah, ago, okay. Yeah. Do you remember what they said in the ISS? No, so I had uh, minus one in each eye. Okay. And then I think it's called stigmatism. Yeah. Yeah, in one of the eyes. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which one, though. Yeah. And also, again, I can't remember the name for it, but I have like a build up of pigment in one of the eyes. Like a, a small in the front of the eye, or? I think it's this one, like a little bit of like yellow Brown. at the edge. Yeah, okay. at the edge. Do you wear the glasses as well? When do you wear them? Um, so or how I often? I should wear them more often than I do. Yes. Yeah. For like things far away. Far away. Um, but I only really wear them when I'm watching the television. Okay. Um, I should wear them more because I can't ever see like the train time sure. around London. But you have to go a bit closer. This yeah. Signs and stuff, right? Yeah, like okay. run straight up to the sign that says which <laughs> line it is. So do you feel like it's got worse since then, or it's kind of, they're still working? I think they still work, like, relatively well. I can imagine it's got worse since I've got them, though. Sure. Um, I don't know if not wearing them has made it worse or whatever. Yeah. Is there a reason you don't wear them, or you just kind of prefer not to? I think at first it was, like, with COVID, like, wearing masks and stuff. They kept fogging up. Sure. And it got really Fair irritating. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I just stopped wearing them as much and okay. maybe I've got in the habit of it. Yeah, so I guess yeah. whenever they're there you need them in when you're watching television and stuff, right? Yeah, because okay. I kind of put them next to my, my sofa at home yeah, to remind me to wear them. They're ready for you, yeah. So then, uh, like any unusual symptoms, flashing lights, spots? I did have a bit of like eye strain today actually, but I uh -huh. have been looking at the screen, the screen quite a lot. this morning, doing a lot of work on it, so... Is that mainly when you notice eye strain? No, the real... Uh, yeah, that's mainly it. It's just like you know, being at work all day, doing some sort of like intense looking at the screen work. Okay, and then no black spots or flashing lights in vision. No, I usually. Think, no, no. Okay, headaches, unusual ones. Not any unusual ones, no. Like that, no. Cool. And then double vision. Do you ever notice that? Uh, not usually. No, no, not at all. Perfect.
Have you ever been to the hospital for your eyes? Like injuries, operations? No sort of operations. Yeah. I had conjunctive itis as a kid, but okay. it's just a one-off thing. N- never came back? No yeah, long-standing yeah. issues from that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's all good. Perfect. And then general health? Any medication? Yeah. Allergies? Hay fever. Hay fever. Yeah. Summer months, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Nothing severe or anything. Perfect. And then anyone in the family with eye conditions, like glaucoma, diabetes? Diabetes, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, later onset, diabetes. Immediate family? Uh, yes, my mother's side. Okay. Who's that? Who has it? Uh, my aunt and it's my grandmother. Okay. Do you know what type it was? Not too sure. I think it's called type 2. Type 2, yeah. yeah. Tablets as opposed to injections. It's a tough one. I believe my grandma takes an injection though, so I'm not entirely okay. sure. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. And then in terms of lifestyle, do you drive? No. Do you don't drive? Okay. And then computer screens are lots of the day you said that, right? Yeah, Come literally on. all day. Okay. <laughs> and I guess just afterwards, phones and stuff as well, right? Phones, Netflix, okay. editing. <laughs> all eyes up, yeah. Cool. So there's a few tests I want to do first. A few. I'm just going to put something on the screen then. You see the spotlight of that? Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to check how well your pupils react to light. So if you keep looking at the spotlight for me on the screen. Yeah. Good. That's okay. So I'm going to do first, pull this machine up in front of you. Kind of gives me an estimate of what current vision's like, okay? okay. So can you just pop your shin onto your bed for me, please? Is that a comfortable height? Yeah. So you can see an image of a hot air balloon. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep looking at that. Okay, it's good, all right. So I think we'll check the pressures of your eyes now. It's a puff of air in each eye. Have you had that before? Um, possibly. Okay. Which one that makes me jump? Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Look at the green light. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Let's do one more. Okay. Last one. Perfect. Go to the other eye. Last one. Awesome. It's really good. You can sit back. Thank you. That wasn't too bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what I'll do now, if I pull this up in front of you, I'll put in here what your current glasses are. You said minus one both eyes. Yes, yeah, I believe so. And then we'll kind of see where we end up. So if you push your head against that for me, please. That's it. Is it height coat okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Awesome. So I think let's maybe start with what you can see without any glasses. So okay. I've covered your left eye, I've gone with the right eye. Could you read those? Uh, yeah. Um, N, R, H, B, H, O, F, Z, T, P, D, and then Q. Okay. You can try the top line. K, B, D, F. Okay. Anything under that? Um, I think I can read the second one here. Go for it. O, N, F, F. Okay. So I'm going to put some lenses in now. Is that better? That's so much better. Yeah, you can go for the last line. Uh, yeah, I think so. Go for uh, it. L, C, M, K. Okay, so I'll show you two lenses now. You tell me which one is better. That's one. And that's two. That's one. And that's two. I think two is better. Okay. And then just onto the spots. So that's one. And that's two. 
One. Or two. Possibly two is better. Okay, quite is it similar. quite similar? Yeah. That's three. And that's four. Uh, three is much better than four. That's better? Yeah. Okay. Just want to red and green then. Are the numbers better on the red side or better on the green side? Red. Red side. No. Uh, probably the same. Quite yeah. close. You go for the last line. It's pretty small. He. Yeah. Uh, he. H. Okay. I'm going to show you no glasses. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's I can't read any of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's with the prescription in. It's so much, much better. Much better. Yeah. Cool. Let me go to your left eye. So again, this is no prescription. Can you go for the middle line? Uh, o, N, F, F. Okay. Better? Much better, yeah. Okay. Try the last line. L, C, N, K. Okay. Now one, and two. That's one. And that's two. I think one is better. Okay, and then just onto the spots. So that's one. And two. That's one. And that's two. One's a lot better. That's three. And that's four. That's three. And four. And one more time, that's one. And that's two. Or about the same. That's one. And two. I think one is better. And then three. Four, or the same. That's three. And that's four. Three. Okay, cool. I'm just going to finish on this. That's one. And that's two. Two is a lot better. Yeah. And three and four, all the same. Uh, four is better. That's three. Yeah, four Four's is better. Four. Perfect. And then last time, one or two. That's one. And that's two. Say one. Okay. So just onto the red and green. Numbers better, red, green, uh, same? Red's a bit bolder, I think. Okay. No? That's the same, yeah. Okay. Try the top line. It's quite small. D, N, Z, L. Yeah, on both eyes. How's that? Yeah, it's really it's pretty good, good, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll just show you again. That's with no glasses on. That's shocking. <laughs> And then that's with the prescription. Yeah, that's so much better. Yeah. yeah. One last thing. Can you hold that for me? Yeah. What's the smallest line you can read on that chart? Um, if I put it quite close, I can probably read N4, the smallest one. The top line? Yeah, if it's like here. What about um, if it was... It's here, then I'd go for N5. Okay. I think N4 is a bit of a stretch. And then when you use a screen, is it a desktop, a laptop? What kind of monitor is it? Um, I kind of usually have like a proper monitor about this. A bit further away. Me, yeah. yeah. If you stretch your arm as far as you can then. I'd maybe try and read about N10 or N8 for a screen. Okay, yeah, I can, you can do that. N8, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you can sit back. That's good. Mm -hmm. Let me show you here your prescription. Has anyone kind of explained these numbers to you before? You may have seen them before. Yeah, I do, I've seen, I know the minus one, minus yeah. one thing, but I, I don't really know the details what they mean. about what they mean. I'll kind of run through it. So, I found a little bit different today on the left eye, minus 1.25, mm. so maybe it's, it's crept up slightly. Um, so basically, when it's a minus, it means you're short-sighted, farther away things are a little bit blurry, up close, you can actually see pretty well without without anything at all. Right, yeah. Kind of what you, kind of yeah. what you thought already, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, second number here. Astigmatism, I think you kind of mentioned it at the start as well, right? Yeah. So what it means is the eye itself, it's a bit more of a rugby ball shape compared to round. Okay. So when you're focusing on things, when you're looking at things, uh, light goes in your eye, bounces around a little bit, 
it can make the lights appear a bit glared out at night time. Um, it can also cause a little bit of eye strain potentially towards the end of the day. It's quite small though, so I'd say it's more maybe just the lights at night time. You might they may appear a bit more glared out if you were to drive or things like that. Yeah. So it's kind of kind of what you already thought. You you could wear the glasses for television if you're going to gigs, theatre, that kind of stuff. Um, if you were to drive legally, you'd probably need them to meet the requirements. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, but it's it's kind of down to you how much you want to wear them. It's not mm. at that level where I'd kind of advise for full time wear or anything like that. Just right. kind of up to you. Right. Yeah. Okay. That, or contact lenses. That's, that's one option as well. Yeah, I'm always a bit scared about them. Yeah, you tried. Just I jump like I did. Yeah. I just can't do it. It's not the most natural thing, right? Your finger going into your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to get used to. <laughs> Any questions? Um. What, what does the axis bit mean? So axis, it's a good, good question actually. So uh, when you have an astigmatism, uh, if you imagine a clock face, the, the, it's kind of like the angle that we put the lens into your glasses or a contact lens. So if all of these numbers were to stay the same next time you came in, yeah. uh, if that 45 changed to a 65, it's basically like I was just rotating your lens. So that can also make things snap into place a bit better. Oh. Yeah. So today of we've got nothing really to compare it to, so no real concern, no. but just something to keep an eye on in the future. Right. Yeah? Yeah. And by the future, like, how often do you recommend you read your eye test? Yeah. Uh, probably say two years. Two years. Two years should be good. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be <laughs> Unless you feel the change, but I think two years at a maximum would be a good right. idea. So that's how you compare, like, the data mm. every two years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's really interesting yeah. hearing all the, the reasoning <laughs> behind yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. You kind of just see the numbers all the time and you don't really know what they mean half the time. Yeah, right? yeah. Any question? Um, yeah, uh, I think that was my main question for now. Mm -hmm. um, There's one more thing I want to do. Yeah. Let's check the back of your eye, the health. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. We just pop your chin on to there for me, please. Is that a comfortable height? Okay, so you should have my ear here for me, please. Okay. And to your left. Yeah, so you can see the scar that you mentioned initially, like the freckle. Yeah. yeah. And to the right. Okay, and straight ahead, back of my ear. So just check the back of the eye now. Let me know if you need a break from the light. Okay, and then up and see your left. Straight to your left. Perfect. And straight down to your left. And whilst you're looking down, if you open your eyes as wide as you can, that's it. Straight down, and I'll as wide as you can. Yeah. Down and right.
straight lines. Awesome. Can you see the right? Is the light okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, there's my ear here. Up until the left. Mm -hmm. Down until left, then try to open your eyes wide. Yep. Straight down. It's down to your right. And straight right. Finally, top right. Okay, just one last thing, just keep looking here. Look up. And see your left. And right. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We can sit back. Let's get you. You can pray. Yeah. I feel pray. Put the pass, I think, now. Really good, really good. I'm not really seeing anything with okay. any concern. It was just that, that little birthmark I think you mentioned on the yeah. on the right side. Yeah. Has it always been the same? From what I you know? I believe so, yeah, from what I know. I didn't actually know of its existence. Since, since then I tested. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it, I've seen it loads of times. So uh -huh. um I think just for you, keep keeping an eye on it. Like maybe take a photograph yourself and then or you may have a photo already. Yeah, to check it Seeing if it's yeah. changing or getting bigger or anything like that. But yeah. like, I'm not seeing any sign of concern. Well, that's yeah? good, yeah. Cool. One more thing. Okay. So I think we've we've tested your central vision. Yeah. Just one thing that we can test is your peripheral vision. Okay. It may be a bit different to him before. If you just want to put that on for me, please. Okay, thank you. No worries. I'll put it if you need. Is that feeling comfortable? Should I tighten it a little? Ah, uh, yeah, no, it's all right. You're good, good. So I'm just going to hand you a controller as well, your right hand. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay. So I'll just start the exam now. Awesome. So you should see some instructions on the screen. Or if you click the button on the back. Yeah. Sorry, let me just... Yeah. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. Click to start instructions. Oh. Welcome. Ooh. Do you see the green circle? Use your hands to move the headset so that the green lines are as clear as possible. Click when you're done adjusting.
Great. In the upcoming exam, you will see small lights like this one flicker on the screen. Some lights will be bright, and others will be very dim. Click with your finger whenever a light is shown. Now, do you see the orange dot in the center? Keep your eyes focused on that dot until the test is finished. You can blink normally, but always look at the dot. Please ask a staff member if you have any questions. When you're ready, click to start the exam. job looking at the orange dot. job keeping your eyes open. Excellent. I've moved the orange dot. Focus your eyes on it, then click to continue testing. You're halfway through the exam. the orange dot. Focus your eyes on it, then click to continue testing. the orange dot. Focus your eyes on it, then click to continue testing. It's lost you now. Again. I know, right? <laughs> I feel like you should be able to take that off now. It wasn't too, wasn't too bad, right? Yeah, I've never <laughs> used a VR headset no, it was quite cool. before. It was fun. It was pretty good. So let me show you here. You got, you got most of the points. There were just two that you missed in oh, these okay. two points. Yeah. Um, the main thing we're looking at here is a pattern of loss. So if there was like a big cluster you were missing, then maybe we might be concerned we, we could do it again. Mm -hmm. They were quite random points in completely yeah. different spots. So And also it's quite a long test, right? So you, I, I don't blame <laughs> you. Um, but no, it's just good to kind of do this every, maybe every five years as a kind of a baseline just for, there's things like glaucoma. So pressure test was a good one for that. Yeah. Having a baseline measurement if the pressure starts to rise. 
and then a field test is also another good one so every every so often just having it done i think it's a good idea yeah right. but no okay. everything was looking good no worries well, that's all good yeah, yeah. any questions to hear <laughs> um like it's a bit unrelated to this one but yeah. so with the puff of air mm. like how how is that testing is it testing my eye's reaction to the air yes yeah, so it's kind of um when that machine pushes air into your eye your eye gives a bit of pressure back and then the machine's reading that right. yeah yeah, so yours is about 15, like middle of the range. Right. Anything over 24, we might start to be concerned. We can even, there are, it kind of changes throughout the day as well. So if you were to come in the morning, yeah. it can be higher than if you were to come later in the day. Today's a bit later, so yeah. I think it's it's good anyway. That's Just some, yeah, something to keep an eye on. Does it like happen as you age as well? Do you get more? Not really, but oh, okay. I think something like glaucoma, the risk heightens like, way more later on in life. So right now, Maybe the risk isn't that high, but it's always just good, I think, as a baseline, yeah. yeah. But I think 40 plus, especially when there's a family link, we call you back way more often. Fair especially enough. if there's a family history there. Yeah, because again, it's more likely mm. than yes, yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Sorry, thanks. That's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Um, I think that's it for questions, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> and a good time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, Mr. Have a uh, have a seat. Thank you. There we go. How are you doing today? All right. Good, thank you. Excellent. Right. Okay. So my name is Christian. I'm the optometrist. Uh, so I'm going to be doing an eye exam today. Now we'll start off just checking a few details, having a chat about your eyes, and then we'll sort of get stuck into the eye exam. You can probably see it's a little bit different from a sort of standard optician's. Um, so basically, I, I work as a private consulting optometrist, so I just do a clinical examination. We don't do any dispensing uh, of spectacles. So I'll issue you with a prescription. You'll be able to take that into any optician, uh, and they'd be able to sort out some glasses for you. Uh, so, yeah, we'll really focus on the eye exam. Um, obviously, if you've got any questions, please do just interrupt me and ask me as we go along. Um, I'll try and explain as, as we're working our way through as well. So, uh, we've obviously gone through the preliminary details, name, uh, date of birth, etc. Uh, now, when was your last eye exam? Um, I think it was May. Hmm. So, gosh, it's June, July, about five months ago. Okay, brilliant. Uh, and did you get any glasses at that time? Or? No, I didn't get new glasses. Mm, okay. uh, do you wear spectacles at the moment? I do, I can't read things far away. Okay, yep. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, and these glasses, how old are they roughly? Um, more than two years, maybe about two and a half. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. And the glasses themselves, how often are you wearing them at the moment? Um, <laughs> probably not often enough. Okay. They yeah. only, um, when I watch like television and stuff in the evenings, I put mm. them on because it's quite yeah. far from where I sit. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. So it's more sort of as and when as opposed to putting them on first thing in the morning and keep yeah. them all day. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. I should wear them more because I can't really read the train times at the okay. station. Okay, yeah, well. <laughs> that could be a bit tricky. <laughs> okay, um, right. Okay. And do you drive at all? No. No, okay. So <clears throat> your long distance vision, you sort of saying that you feel you should be wearing them more. Do you feel that your vision has changed at all or are you just more aware that you perhaps should be wearing them? I think I've always known I should wear them more because I kind of just accept when I can't see something far away, I'm just like, oh, can't be helped. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. It would be much nicer if I wore them and could see all the time. Okay. But I think it's, yeah, just when I'm rushing and because it's quite strange that it feels weird having them on when I'm at my computer and it's so near me. Mm. And sometimes okay. I feel like I don't yeah. need them on for just that. And then yeah. I forget to put them on on the way home. To... It's just yeah. on off all the time. <laughs> That's quite understandable. Um, okay, brilliant. Uh, so you mentioned obviously computers, okay. How is mm. close work? I mean, if you look at your phone, reading, anything like that, is that? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, brilliant. I mean, the dreaded question, how often are you using a sort of computer screen for, would you say? Very often. Yeah. Like, more than eight 
hours a day. Okay, and then uh, presumably that's sort of a major part of your work as well. Yeah, okay. and then even after work, I'll then use that's... it to edit videos. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't worry. Most of us, uh, yeah, <laughs> most of us do. Don't worry, that's fine. Uh, and uh, what does you do for work? I uh, just like admin work. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. On the computer. Hmm. And yeah, as you said, it's sort of kind of a full day's work and then evening as well. Okay, no, that's fine. So, <clears throat> importantly, do you ever get any headaches or any eye aches when you're using a computer or doing close work at all? Um, yes, yeah. Um, but I can't always tell if my headaches are from using the computer or from other things or okay. stress. Or... Okay. I also recently cut out caffeine, which probably doesn't Oh, yeah, but that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a challenge. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so the headaches. Would you? Can you sort of s guess when they started? You know, there's sort of a time period where you say actually maybe in the last couple of months I've been getting headaches, but longer than that, a bit shorter. Um, I think it probably is since I started my job. Okay. So yeah. I think it's directly related to mm. how much more I'm using it because of that. Okay. And. In the course of sort of a typical week, how often do you get a headache? Is it daily or every few days? Every few days. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And is there a particular time of day that you're getting these headaches? More morning, afternoon, or is it? It's more often the afternoon. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And um, is there a particular area on your head that hurts? So recently yeah. it feels more like a band, is, like a strap is being placed around me sometimes. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah it's more sort of handband type headache. Yeah. Okay. If it is near my eye, it's always this one. I don't know if that means anything. Okay, but... we can certainly have a look. Okay, no, <laughs> that's fine. Sort of... And are you taking any kind of painkillers for them or just soldiering through it? Soldier through, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, they're, they're much better than they used to be, or maybe I've just got used to it, so... Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, and um, in terms of your vision, have you been having anything unusual, sort of flashes of light, bits floating in front of your eyes, double vision, anything weird and wonderful like that at all? I can't think of anything, no. Okay. And is there anything at all that you've kind of noticed or that's concerning you about your eyes that you wanted to have a look at today? Mm, I can't think of anything too specific mm. right now, but if it does... I was going to say, by all means, say, just yeah. interrupt me halfway through, don't worry. Yeah. Okay, so we've just got a few other details to go through. Um, so one is general health, because obviously our eyes are connected to an entire human body. Uh, there's a number of conditions we can pick up through the eyes, but I also say eyes are a bit like the dashboard in your car that they can flag up if there's something else going on in the body. So it's always good to know general health, medication, etc. So <clears throat> your general health, do you have any health conditions at all? Um, any allergies that you know of? Thyroid uh, problems, diabetes, anything like that? Nothing too severe, no. Just taking okay. the bed. Okay, yeah. Um, nothing properly diagnosed in terms of anything like very yeah. big level. That's fine. And, and not uh, presumably not taking any medication? Or... No, no, just supplements. Okay. So, yeah. so the hay fever, is there a particular time of year that that starts? Or... Yes, it's always when exam season used to be, so like, okay, probably like March to June. Right, okay, just what you want when you try to study for exams. Yeah, yep. okay, yeah. <laughs> it's that sort of spring period. Yeah. And uh, do you use anything during that time to help with it? Or? Um, I kind of just feel bear it, yeah. Hmm. I don't feel like I have the, yeah, I know, I, hay fever tablets might work on me, but I just don't. Always bother. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, does it affect your eyes at all? Yeah, some people it's more kind of respiratory. Some people get you know, eye eye problems. It does affect my eyes. They get very itchy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. And in terms of um, 
family health history. Are there any health conditions in the family? So diabetes, high blood pressure, stroke, anything like that at all? Yeah, so diabetes Okay. Uh, is my aunt and my gran. Mm, is that on mum or dad's side? Mum's side, yep. yeah. Okay. And is that something that they develop later on in life? Yes, yeah, both of them. Just over 60. Mm. So. Okay. And any eye problems that you know from the family? So glaucoma, macular mm. degeneration, anything like that at all? I don't think any of those ones mm. there. I just know my mum has, actually my dad as well, they've got really bad eyes. Okay. Right. So I know it's going to get worse and worse for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, I can certainly have a look at that. <laughs> and in terms of your eye history, you know, have you ever had any issues with your eyes, anything as a child that you perhaps had to go to the eye hospital for? Or any... um, one time I did have conjunctivitis okay but i ended up finding out i think i had an old mascara and so oh, yeah. I just, okay. it was just my entirely my own doing so yeah it's uh, yeah they, they, they do have a cell by date and yeah, oh, yeah no, that's fine yeah. and um have you ever had any issues raised with your eyes anything that you sort of have had to be referred for uh no i don't think so nothing like that Brilliant. Now, obviously, we spoke about work and, and you spend a lot of time on the computer and, and editing videos and things. It's, it's quite important to understand what we use our eyes for, which sounds a bit of an odd statement. But, uh, yeah, are there any hobbies that you perhaps do? Any close work? Any sports? Anything like that at all? Mm, I read a lot. Okay, um, yeah. But not necessarily on paper. Mainly on my phone. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, just up in that screen time. That's yeah, fine. yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, and then when not like editing or actually doing work, it's often like watching YouTube. So again, more screen time. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. No, I mean, it's always good because obviously, if there's something particular that you do, it can impact on perhaps the advice we give in terms of what glasses, mm. what lenses to look for. So it's okay. always good to kind of get a feel for what you get up to on a daily basis for, for, from that perspective. Excellent. Right. Now, uh, so you mentioned some glasses. Have you got those with you today? Yes, I have. Yeah, do you want to have a quick look at those? Yeah, of course. Excellent. There we go. So what I'll do, is it all right if I borrow them so for a moment? Sort of give them a bit of a clue. Don't worry, I can do that for you. That's not a problem. Uh, no, so what I'm going to do is take a quick measurement of the, the lenses themselves. Um, that way we've got an idea of what the prescription is in here. Uh, and then we can... Uh, have a look at your prescription today and I can just give you a better idea as to whether there's been any change at all. Yeah, yeah it's amazing how uh, much sort of dust and muck they can acquire, isn't it? It's uh, brilliant. Okay, perfect. Let me just get the prescription from those. So let me just put this here. those back I'll let you pop them on. <clears throat> yeah, right, so having a look at the uh, the mirror just down there for me. So we're going to have a look at some of the letters on the uh, on the screen. There. So at the moment what would you say is the smallest line that you can get there for me? Uh, with these on I can see, I think I can see the bottom line. Okay, okay yeah, do you want to have a go at that one? Uh, H. Yep. You will be very good. The, oh, it's a, yeah, the next one was a view. <laughs> yep. And D and Z. Brilliant. It's yeah. good. If I was really cruel and added an extra line, can we get anything on that one there? It's absolutely fine. If not, don't worry. Um, I could do the start, I think. Okay. D, H, yep. Z. That's an E, isn't it? It's an E. Yep. And either an R or a H. <laughs> Very good. I mean, a little bit of leading there, but uh, no, five out of five. Well done. Excellent. There we go. Right. Well, what I'm going to do is just give you this cover to hold. I'm going to get you to pop it in front of your left eye for me. 
And I'll get you to have a look at the letters again. I'll just jumble them up to make it a bit more exciting. And uh, what's the smallest? Now, don't worry if it's not the uh, very bottom one. Yeah, I think I'm more comfortable with the one above the bottom. Okay, yep. Um, so you can go in there. V-O-M-E-R. Yep. Very good, excellent. And uh, if I get you to cover up your other eye now, I'm just going to jumble those letters up again. And... D-N-B-R-H. Uh, uh, Very good. Did you want to get the one underneath? Or? E. Yeah. V. V. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. That's brilliant. Not bad at all. So the second line up from the bottom is actually the 2020 vision line. So you're kind of seeing a line better than that. So that's why it is a bit of a struggle. But uh, no, that's excellent. Now, if I could just borrow the uh, cover there, and I'm going to get you to have a look at the clock just above the letter chart for me. Just looking at the six o'clock position for me at the bottom there. And what I'm going to do is just see how your eye muscles are working together. So I'll get to keep looking at that little six o'clock position there for me. That's very good. Okay. Perfect. Right, I'll get, I'll get to take your glasses off now. Probably make those uh, letters a little bit blurrier, don't worry. <laughs> and having a look at the letter chart now, what would you say is the uh, smallest line that you can get there for me? Um, really good question. Either the second or the third. Okay, yeah, should we have a look at the second one to start with? V, F, Z, H, U. Very good. And the one underneath. N. Mm -hmm. O. Yep. N. Z. B. Good. Excellent. And if I were to hand you back the cover there, I'll just <clears throat> jumble those letters up again. So I'll get you to cover up your left eye and uh, let's get rid of those smaller ones. It'll probably be a bit fuzzy. Uh, what would you say is the smallest line that you can get just with this eye? Um, probably the second from the bottom. Okay, yeah, do you want to read that one for me? K-H-Z-U-E. Brilliant. Excellent. Do you want to have a go at the bottom one or is it a bit fuzzy? It's fuzzy. I could, I could try, but yep. I'm not sure I'd get it all right. No, don't worry. <laughs> H. Yep. Mm-hmm. Very good. Excellent. And uh, if I get you to cover up your other eye, and we'll do the same again. And uh, what would you say is the smallest one you can get comfortably there for me? Um, second from the bottom. Yep. Z, F, P, O, you. Brilliant. Anything on the one underneath? Or? I think I can on this side. Yep. N O V mm -hmm. U Z. Five out of five. Here we go. Brilliant. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah, this sound seems easy. <laughs> now I've added an extra line. Can you get anything on that bottom one? Sort of really pushing it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can actually. Don't worry. That's fine. That's, no, I'm no. Any of don't worry, don't worry, that's <laughs> fine. So if I take the cover again and we have a look back at the uh, six o'clock position on the clock, let's just see your eye muscles again. Perfect, that's good. And we're going to do the same, but this time I'm going to get you to look at the tip of my pen for me. Brilliant. 
it's basically telling us how your eyes sort of talk to each other and focus on a single point, looking to see how the, the eye muscles are working. They're all looking absolutely fine there. Brilliant. Right. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is have a look at your prescription uh, and we'll have a look at sort of what we're finding today and then I can give you an idea if it's changed at all. So we've got uh, some very stylish glasses to wear. So we'll have a look at your glasses prescription and then we'll have a look at your eye health. So we've got the camera and the uh, scanning laser ophthalmoscope and uh, then we'll be having a look on the microscope as well. So sort of the full MOT today. So I'm going to get you to have a look into my left very good. My right eye. Back to my left. Back to my right. Perfect. There we go. As I say, not the most stylish glasses in the world, these ones. But importantly, how do they feel? Yeah, Comfortable? Yeah. Brilliant. Let me know if they start to get a bit uncomfortable. Though. So we're going to make them even more stylish by covering one eye up. <laughs> and we're going to have a look back at the uh, letters in the mirror there, which should hopefully be a little bit clearer than they were previously. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> as you're looking at the letters there, what's the smallest line that you can get for me? I can make the bottom one. Okay, yeah, have to read that one out for me. V, F, D, E, U. Brilliant. Now, the next thing I'm going to get you to do is to have a look at the circles on the red and the green there. And the clarity and definition of those circles, would you say it's better on the red, the green, or are they about the same? The red is a bit better, yeah. Okay. So if I were to pop this lens in front... A bit more on the red, a bit more on the green, or are they about the same? Um, I think the green actually this That's good. I'm just going to swap that lens over. And now the next thing I'm going to get you to do is to have a look at those two circles just there. I'm going to show you two blurry lenses. Now, neither of these lenses is going to make those circles crystal clear, so don't worry. Uh, all I'm going to do is see which of the two is the clearer. Okay, so as you're looking at those two circles, would you say they're rounder and clearer with number one? Number two, are they about the same? So we've got number one, two, all pretty similar. Two's better. Two's better, brilliant. And if we do that again, number one, Number two or about the same. So we've got one, two, two, I think. Yeah, two's done. Two, yeah. Just gonna pop a little lens in. And again, as you're looking at those circles, would you say they're rounder and clearer with number one or number two? We've got one. Two or not much difference. Yep. Yeah. Number one, number two are about the same. So we've got one, two, pretty similar. Pretty similar, yeah. Yep. And number one or number two. One, two or not much difference. No, that's, different. that's okay, don't worry. And number one, number two are about the same. One, two. One. That's good. And then number one, or number two. Two. Two is a bit better. Yeah. That's good. Number one, number two are about the same. So we've got one, two, one. Perfect. So let's have a look at those letters again. Now, what's the smallest line that you can get there for me? Um, I can do the bottom, I think. Yeah. Um, 
Five out of five, brilliant. Now, I'm going to get you to look at just the letter V for me on that line. Okay. Is that better or is that worse? Or better. Yeah. yeah. That's good. And again, looking at that letter V, a little bit better, a little bit worse, or about the same. So that's weird. That's for now. A bit better with, yeah. A bit better with that one in front. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And if I were to add that extra line at the bottom, can you get any letters there at all? Mm. Absolutely fine. If not, don't worry. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight, seven. Very good. And that bottom, or the bottom two lines, as you're looking at those, are they better with this in front? A little bit worse or about the same? So that's with, and that's without. That's with. Oh, actually slightly better with. Slightly yeah. better with that one in front. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a second or two to... Uh, Come into focus. Oh, that's okay, yeah. <laughs> Have a few blinks. <laughs> Still looking at those bottom two lines, are they better with this one in front? A bit worse or about the same? So that's with. Oh, that's it's worse with, yeah. And if we have a look at the uh, circles on the red and the green, now are they looking rounder and clearer on the red, the green, or are they about the same? The red. Just out of interest, if I were to pop this lens in front, has that made them a bit more equal? Is it a bit more red? A bit more green? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you want to read that bottom line for me? Uh, N. Yep. Z. Mm -hmm. R. Yep. U. Mm. Five out of five. Excellent. There we go. Now, we're going to have a look with your other eye, so we'll uh, give that right eye a bit of a break. <laughs> have a few blinks, it might take a second or two for your left eye to uh, wake back up, that's perfectly normal. Uh, so we'll start off just having a look quite generally with the circles on the red and the green. How are they looking? Would you say clearer, more defined on the red, the green, or about the same? Yeah, I'd still say the red. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to swap. Isn't it very blurry for a second? And how are they looking now on the red and the green? The green's clear enough. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so looking back at those two circles, and I'm going to show you the blurry ones again. So would you say that those circles look rounder and clearer with number one or number two? One there, two there. Two. Yeah. And one, two are about the same. So we've got one. Two or pretty similar? Two. Yeah, two. Two. Okay. Let's just... And looking at those two circles, are they rounder and clearer with number one, number two, or about the same? So we've got one, two. I think they're the same, yeah. Yeah. And if we have a look. Number one or number two? Two. And number one, two are about the same. So one, two, two. And if we do the same again, so rounder and clearer with number one, number two are about the same. One, two. One is slightly better. So let's go back to looking at the letters. And what's the smallest line that you can get at the moment for me? Um, I think second from the bottom. Okay, yeah, do you want to read that one? P, P, U, H, Z. Very good. Now, as you're looking at that line of letters, would you say it's better or worse if I put that in front? Better. Swap that lens over. Okay. 
And again, looking at that second line from the bottom, if I were to pop this in front, a bit better, a bit worse, about the same. That's weird. Okay. And if to put this lens in front, has it made those bottom lines clearer? Is it a bit worse or about the same? So that's with, and that's without. That's with. Better without. It's just about the same. Pretty similar. Yeah. yeah. Can you get anything on the very bottom one at all? Or? Very good. V. Yep. <laughs> five out of five. Good guess. <laughs> Brilliant. So looking at the bottom two lines of letters, now I'm going to put this lens in front. Is it a bit better? Is it a little bit worse or about the same? So that's weird. It's a bit worse. And if we go back to the circles on the red and the green now, do they look rounder, sharper on the red, the green, or are they pretty similar? Still, yeah, still the red. Still the red, okay. <clears throat> if I put this one in front. Oh, they're the same with this one, yeah. yeah. Just going back to looking at the bottom line of letters, is there much difference with that, or is it just a bit smaller and blacker, do you think? Smaller and blacker, so, yeah. Yeah. More bold. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Well, what I'm going to do now is make it go uh, a little bit blurry which will only be temporary. Uh, has that sent them a little bit fuzzy there? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to uncover your right eye. Now it's going to feel like you've had one too many because you're going to have one eye that's nice and clear, one <laughs> eye that's uh, quite blurry. Again, so that's uh, intentional. <clears throat> have a few blinks just to let your, your brain sort of get used to that setup. And with both eyes together, what would you say is the smallest line you can get there for me? Probably um, second from bottom. Yep. Yeah. P. E, mm -hmm. U, F, H. Excellent. So as you're looking at that line of letters, I'm going to put this in front. Has it made them a little bit better, a little bit worse, or about the same? So that's with, and that's without. There's with, and there's without. Yeah, they're not exactly the same, but they're both mm. good. Okay, that's fine. One's older and one's like... Further away, okay. Sure. Yeah, if we pop that in front, these bottom sort of two lines are they a bit more comfortable to read, a bit blurry, yeah, yeah, or about yeah. the same? So that's with, and that's I'm without. Probably more able to read the very bottom with, with the, that. Yeah, well, let's just put this in for a second. And looking at the bottom two lines, are they a bit better when I put this in front? Or is that making them go a bit blurry? Very blurry. Better without yeah. you. And let's just move this blurry one over to your other eye. So uh, have a few blinks, let your eyes switch around. Just feel quite odd that one. Uh, and just the letters. What's the smallest you can get there? Yeah, I can try the bottom. Okay, yeah. Oh, Don't worry, <laughs> you do the one above is fine. Yeah, I do the one above. R U D P. Z. Fantastic. So that R U D line, is it clearer with this one? Is it a little bit worse or about the same? So that's with and that's without. Worse with. Worse. So if we get rid of that blurry one, have a few blinks. Let your eyes kind of get back to normality there. And uh, what's the smallest one you can get there with both eyes together? I think the bottom. Yeah. Um, U D. H-E-N. Five out of five. Brilliant. Here we go. So as I say, that's the one better than 2020 vision. So we're getting a really good level of eyesight there. So that's very good. Right. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to get a funny chart up and put some coloured lenses in so it's going to feel like old school 3D cinema. So what we're going to be doing is having a look at how well your brain fuses the two images together. Have a few blinks. Now you should be able to see an O plus O in the centre of the screen and then there should be a coloured block above and below the plus. Can you see those? Yeah. yeah. Now if I were to cover up one eye 
Has one of the blocks disappeared? Yes, the bottom Ooh, sorry. one. <laughs> the bottom one? Yeah. yeah. And if I had to cover this line? Yeah, the top one's gone. Brilliant. And hopefully you should be able to see both of them now. Yeah. Excellent. So as you're looking at the plus, now does it look like those blocks have moved? Are they still perfectly in line with one another? Are they wobbling about? Or? They're in line, I think, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And if I were to tip the uh, chart over, and so they're now side by side, uh, can you still see the blocks there? Yes. Yeah. And is one of them higher than the other, or are they about the same? Um, I think they're the same, just not the, the red's slightly more clear this time than the last one. So okay. Let's get rid of those coloured lenses. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is have a look at your close-up vision. So just holding that, we tend to hold a uh, book or something to read. And then if we have a look at the clarity, so we've got some paragraphs here. Now, these small ones, how's the N5 paragraph looking at the moment? Yeah, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, really nice and clear. Yeah. If I were to cover one eye up, can you still get the text in that paragraph? Is it still clear and comfortable to read? Um, yeah, yeah, it is. And with the other eye up? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to just read the first few words for me? So that year I got a paper route. Before school I would ride my bicycle around Excellent. my neighbourhood. Brilliant. Don't worry, it doesn't get any more exciting, I'm afraid. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so we're getting a very good level at our uh, vision. Excellent. Let's pop those on. Now, there's been a very marginal change in your prescription. If you wanted to pop your glasses on, I can show you the difference. I'll get the letter chart back up. So having a look at the, uh, the letters there, obviously that's what you're getting at the moment with your glasses. And if you want to pop those off now, I'll hold these in the front. That's the difference. So uh, not a huge change in prescription. Yeah. Maybe more sort of a subtle change in clarity as opposed to suddenly reading miles further down the letter chart. You're still getting a very good level of uh, vision with, uh, with those glasses. Yeah. So um, essentially with your prescription, you're a little bit short-sighted, uh, as you said, it, that basically that means things in the long distance are blurry without glasses. Uh, the good news is not wearing glasses does not make that any worse, it doesn't damage your eyes. Uh, likewise, wearing the glasses more doesn't make your eyes more dependent on them, it doesn't make the short-sightedness worse. So it is just in the moment, it makes it clearer. That's uh, It's nice and straightforward with the, the short-sighted correction. Uh, as you're doing a lot of close work, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that you're not wearing your glasses because mm. when we're short-sighted, our sort of sphere of focus is closer anyway. So yeah. things are naturally more in focus at that distance. So mm. it's perfectly understandable and perfectly reasonable to not wear your glasses for that stuff. So I, I don't think you wouldn't necessarily say you're doing anything particularly wrong with your, with your eyes. And yes. as with sort of spot wearing, you're putting them on when you feel that you need them. It's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. In terms of vision... If you were to start driving, you would need to wear your glasses. You're sort mm -hmm. of just teetering on the driving standard without, but uh, okay. you're comfortably getting the number plate test um, with specs. So I'd say if you're thinking about starting driving, then I probably would suggest right. wearing glasses for that. Okay. So yeah, a little bit of short sightedness, tiny bit of astigmatism, which sounds like some horrendous disease. It's perfectly normal. Um, the vast majority of us have astigmatism. Uh, it's just where the front surface of our eye, the cornea, should be a perfect circle. Yeah. Most people, it's ever so slightly oval. Okay. If you think in terms of like a teaspoon, when you look at your reflection in the back of a teaspoon, it's a bit distorted. It's because it's not a perfect circle. It's not like a soup spoon. It's more oval. Mm. And astigmatism, exactly the same thing. We just get a bit of distortion to our vision. It's very minor. Um, it's yeah. You know, it's literally the first lens step in the box. So it's not anything to sort of be overly concerned about but uh, that's essentially a prescription is short sightedness with a little bit of astigmatism but perfectly normal and glasses are, are absolutely yeah. a fine thing to, to be wearing. Contact lenses is always another option you know, if you were sort of wanting to have the clarity of vision but not wear glasses then contact lenses it would be perfectly suited to this prescription. So, oh, so. Okay. Yeah. But yeah I mean good news is in terms of the glasses that you've got, there's not a huge change. Yes, it can be a little bit sharper, but these are still perfectly serviceable. The frame's in good condition. You're getting good vision with them. So, oh, that's good to hear. Always good news. So yeah. You can get a bit more usage out of them. So what we're going to do next is have a look at um, your eye health. And we'll start off by getting some images of your eyes. And then uh, I can have a look at your eyes on the microscope. 
have a look at what's going on. And then the final thing that we'll do uh, is the uh, machine just over there, the peripheral vision test. So obviously we've just been looking at how your straight ahead vision is. We need to see how your surrounding vision is as well. Okay. Once we've got all that done, you'll have had the full MOT and it's, <laughs> we should be good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'll bring the instruments around and we'll get uh, some images. Let me just bring the table. Right, so we'll start with uh, this one to your right. Yeah, there we go. Right, so let's just bring the table up a little bit. And it always helps if I take the lens cap off, nice clear image without that. So what we're going to be doing is getting a photograph of the back of your eye, mm -hmm. and then we'll get, uh, we use the scanning laser ophthalmoscope just to get a detailed view of the layers of your eye. So, now you need to put your chin on the chin lens. Okay, all the way against the bottom. Is that comfortable there for you? Yeah. Perfect. Right. So, looking straight ahead. And, uh, right. Now, you should see a little yellowy green light straight in front of you. Yeah. If I could get you to keep looking straight at that for me, and then there's going to be a flash of light in a moment when it takes the photograph. Very good. Bright flash, that one. Oop. There we go. Let's keep that nice and clean. And again, side just looking at the little light in front of you there. Sometimes it looks like it's hovering outside the camera, it's perfectly normal. And a flash of light. Very good. And you can sit back. We'll have a look at those in a second. What we'll do first is get the images with the uh, other camera. Okay. Looking straight ahead, you're going to see a little light straight in front of you. There'll be a little white light and a little red light. Get you to look at the little white light directly in front of you. That's very good. Nice big wide stare for me. It will just be a bright flash. Good. And then still with this eye, what we're going to do is I'm going to move that little light and it should go over to your left now. Looking at that little light there into the left. Okay, brilliant. Lovely. And we're going to do exactly the same view of the light. It's quite a bright flash mm -hmm. this one. Straight ahead, look at me. Very good. So, oh yeah, I'm just going to move that little guy over to your right this time. Excellent, and sit back, that's it for the blinding flashes of light in your eyes. So, we can have a look at those images. So essentially what this one has done is it uses laser light to look at the layer underneath this one, directly observable retina. So it gives us an idea if there's anything sort of under the surface that's going on, a little bit like the 3D scans that you might have done previously. So we've got a nice set, it's sort of a black and white image because it's made from a, a composite laser image. Uh, we've got the optic nerve, this little blob over to the side here. I can zoom in on that for you. So that's where our natural blind spot is. We'll see it a little bit clearer on the photograph. Um, this image just shows us the, the health of the tissue within the optic nerve. And you can see the blood vessels coming in and going out of the eye as well. Uh, and then the very centre of the retina, this 
area here is called Immaculate Lady, the detailed central vision from us. So you'll have a look on the photographs, the nice clear images and uh, colour photographs. That's all looking very good. So all the scans came out nicely for, uh, for both eyes, which is always good. So we'll save those. And then if you wanted to come and have a look at the uh, on the other machine, we can have a look at the photographs and yeah. we'll see what's going on there. Yeah. So this is a photograph of the uh, back of your eye. Uh, obviously it looks like the planet Mars, perfectly normal, <laughs> everyone's does. Uh, so what we've got, uh, so this is your right eye. If you imagine this is your eye looking out of the screen at us. Yeah. So um, what we've got here is the optic nerve and that's where all the information leaves our eye. So our natural blind spot, so there's no light sensing retina here. Um, so when we close one eye, we do actually have a natural blind spot with both eyes open, each eye compensates for the other eye. So we've uh, got our optic nerve here, and we've also got the blood vessels which enter and leave the eye. So we've got the lighter ones of the arteries bringing the blood into the eye, darker ones of the veins taking it back out again. The retina is the only place in the human body where we can actually photograph blood vessels. So it's a really good way of us being able to monitor cardiovascular health, things like high blood pressure, diabetes, mm -hmm. um, uh, risk of stroke, etc. Because it is such a, a non-invasive way of us actually imaging blood vessels as, as they are. Mm -hmm. So thankfully no signs of any of those today, you're looking okay. Uh, so we've got the, the central retina here. When I have a look on the microscope, I will look further round. So the photograph captures all the really central, uh, crucial structures. And this darker region here is called your macula. You might have heard of that with macular degeneration. So our macula is where we get our detailed central vision from. Um, so this region here accounts for a really significant proportion of our vision. So it's only a couple of millimetres across, we're talking some 60-70% of your vision overall. So very sensitive, very delicate part of the retina. Again, also looking nice and healthy, so that's good. good. Uh, and so this is your right eye, and then you'll see that your left eye is just a nice mirror image of that. Um, so the optic nerve's over on the other side. Again, we can see the blood vessels arching up and round, and then you've got your macula again just there, so nice mirror images. That's part of the camera rather than your eye, not that sort of big button shape on the uh, edge of your <laughs> retina there. Uh, so yeah, lovely clear images, clear view in, clear view out. Um, but as I say, what we'll now do is have a look at your eyes on the microscope because I can look at the front surface of your eye and uh, we can look at all the structures, the sort of clear optical structures and then get a good view of the retina as well. But photographs are a really good way of cataloguing the, uh, the back of your eyes, the health, general health. The you know, pictures say a thousand words and kind of trying to condense all of this into a small written description is not easy. So a photograph is by far the, the best yeah. way of cataloguing your, your eye health. But, all looking very good so far. That's good to hear. So, so first thing I'm going to do is to check your reaction, see how your eyes are reacting to light. So just looking straight ahead to the end of the room for me, that's very good. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is have a look at your eyes on the microscope. So we've obviously taken some nice images of the back of your eyes. But the microscope will give me a good close-up view of all of the structures of your eye at the front and the back. Uh, so it'll be just a, a good addition for checking your eye health. And I'll check your blood pressure as well, because obviously we've been looking at your um, blood vessels, so it's very good to also check your blood pressure as well. Okay. Right, okay, so let me just bring this round. And I want you to pop your in on the uh, dropping lock there for me. There we go. Now is that comfortable there for you? Yeah, perfect. If it gets a bit uncomfortable, let me know. Now blink as often as you need to with this one. And let's just... So I'm going to get you to just look straight ahead to start off with for me. Good. Let me know if it gets a bit bright for you as well. And if I get you to look over to your left, and over to your right, straight up at the ceiling, gently going to lower this eyelid, and looking down, very good, looking straight ahead again, 
I'm going to get you to blink and then just stare for as long as you can for me. It's always easier said than done when someone's shining the bright light into your eyes. Very good. Now have a look at your other eye. And looking over to your left. And over to your right. Straight up at the ceiling for me. And again, I'm just going to gently lower this eyelid. Very good. And looking down. And again, looking straight ahead for me. And if I get you to blink and just stare for as long as you can. So what I'm doing there is just looking at how well the tear film lasts over the surface of your eyes. Particularly if you're doing a lot of screen work, sometimes we can get dry eye. So I'm just going to make a few quick notes about the front of your eyes. <clears throat> And then we'll have a look at the, uh, the rear surface of your eye. Right. So, so that I can get a good view of the back of your eyes, I'm going to hold some little lenses up in front of you and they just magnify the view at the back of your eye. It does make the light a little bit brighter, so if it is a bit too bright, just let me know. I can turn that down a little bit for you. Okay. So what I'm going to get you to do is have a look past my right ear for me. That's very good. Brilliant. And if I get you to have a look up to the ceiling for me, that's very good. And if I get you to look up and to your right for me. And then looking across to your right. And looking down and to your right, I'm going to very gently hold your eyelid there. That's good. And then looking straight down for me. And then down and to your left. And across to your left. And then up and to your left. And then if I get you to look past my ear for me, and it's just going to get bright for a moment.
and looking over to your left. And looking over to your right. Looking up, very gently, eyelid. And looking down. And then looking past my ear for you, that's good. And then I'm going to hold a lens up in front of your eyes. It's just going to give me a good detailed view of the back of your eyes. So looking past my ear for me. Again, if it gets a bit bright, just let me know. Looking straight up at the ceiling for me. Looking up and to your right. And then looking across to your right. down and to your right and very gently on your eyelid there. Looking straight down for me. And down and to your left. And across to your left. Big wide stare for me, that's very good. And up and to your left. Past my ear, and it's just going to get bright for a moment. And 
Well done. Excellent. There we go. That's one eye done. And then we'll do exactly the same for your other eye. I'm hoping to have a break for a second if you just wanted to let your eyes recover from that because it's quite a bright light. Yeah. And then we'll do exactly the same for your other eye. So, tune back on the uh, chin there for you. And this time I'm going to get you to have a look past my other ear. It's a bit tricky with that uh, extra eye piece in the way, but vaguely in that direction is fine. Okay, let's just turn it back on. Brightness down a bit. And then looking straight up for me. Looking up and to your right. And looking across to your right. And looking down and to your right, I'm going to very gently hold your eye. Straight down. Looking down and to your left. Across to your left. And up into your left. And then having a look past my ear again. And again, it's just going to get bright for a moment. Very good. And sit back. That's it for the interrogation light. So Thank yeah, you. eyes looking very healthy. There's a, a slight freckle at the front of your eye on the white of your eye, on the right eye. Perfectly normal, perfectly harmless, just like having a freckle anywhere else. Um, what I'll do is I'll quickly get a photograph of it and then we've got that for visual reference, because it's very good to measure these things. Oh, okay. But has yeah. anyone ever mentioned a freckle in your eye before? I think last time was the first time it was mentioned to me. Yeah. yeah. They are perfectly harmless and say so that they're perfectly normal. Have you, have you ever noticed it? Or? I hadn't noticed it until <laughs> my last eye was up until... Yeah, but you 
they sort of tend to look at your eyes under a microscope. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just an accumulation of, of pigment on the white of your eye. It's they are all absolutely fine. There's no sort of warning signs I can see with it. But yes. it's good practice just if it's not been noted before, we can get an image. Yeah. Take it again when you come for your next eye exam and, and just see if there's been any change. So yeah, pop on for a second. What I'm gonna do is just get the uh, the lighting set up for this. I'll get you to look over to your uh, left for me, so at least you're not going to stare into the bright light. Excellent. And sit back. Okay. So essentially, this is just a photograph of the front of your eye. Uh, this was you looking over to the left. Um, so it's just the white of your eye here. You can zoom in on that. Um, and you can sort of see that this brown streaky region, it's just little bits of pigment on the white of your eye. So perfectly harmless. Um, and so it's absolutely fine. Now that we've got an image, we can just take another one. Mm. Let me next check the advantage of having a camera attached to the microscope, you can just take a picture of what we see yeah. um, and you can have a look, but you yeah, certainly wouldn't worry about it, it's just a, an incidental finding, but, uh, at least yeah, you can see what it is, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it, just there's extra pigment on the, the white of your eye there. So. Mm -hmm. It really is like a freckle. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, have you had your blood pressure checked recently? Um, I don't think so, no. So, uh, as I say, it's important, because obviously we've been having a look at the blood vessels at the back of the eye, it's important to have a look at the um, blood pressure, because that will put into context how the blood vessels themselves are appearing. So, we'll pop this onto your arm. All right, it will feel like it's trying to pull your arm off. It does let go, don't worry. <laughs> so, we'll just take, uh, I'm going to do an average uh, of readings. So, we'll do a first one. Give it a minute or two, then we do a second one. And if there's a major difference, we'll do a third. But let's just have a uh, look at the first two readings. It's very good, very good blood pressure. Yep. There's a little on the low side. I mean, do you ever get dizzy if you stand up suddenly? Or... Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, postural hypotension is perfectly normal. It's something to just be mindful of. So if you do have naturally low blood pressure, if we have a sudden posture change, we can have a drop in pressure. So, if it's low anyway, it can drop a bit lower and that can give you that sort of light headed feeling. So, it's uh, I never knew that's what it was. Okay. That's, that's yeah, cool. if you've naturally got slightly yeah. lower blood pressure, that, that does, does happen. Mm. Right. It's like low blood, uh, low blood pressure like hereditary or something? Uh, sometimes it can be, yeah. yeah. it's um, and, and the, the good thing to do is, once you, by knowing that you have low blood pressure, if we do subsequent readings, um, having historical ones because you could have an increase in blood pressure and actually develop a clinically normal blood pressure but for you it's an increase so it's always good to know so yeah it's come down a little bit actually so it is yeah it normally does so our first reading is normally higher so this one's 90 over 62 so there's a little bit of a drop there um Fine. But yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's something to be mindful of. It's, it's definitely a thing um, to worry about at your age. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, when you sort of hear of people having falls and they've suddenly stood up, it can be because of uh, this postural hypertension. But there we go. Right. That's the pressure sorted. Okay, so uh, the last things we've got to do is check your eyes on the peripheral vision scanner. And so this machine is going to check your peripheral vision. So what we're going to be doing is having a look at each eye in turn 
it's going to be checking the sensitivity and sort of the brightness of lights that you, each eye is able to detect. Now, uh, get to dress up like a pirate with this one. So <laughs> we've got an eye patch. We just grab that out of the UV cleaner. So what we're going to be doing is I'll cover up your left eye to start with. Test one eye, and then we'll move over to the other eye. So, let's on. Okay, now is that comfortable there for you? Yeah. Great the uh, wooden leg and parrot are an uh, optional extra. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to give you the clicker, it's just that bit at the top, a bit like an old style computer mouse. And um, we'll just do the chin rest action. Now, with this one, you'll be popping your head to one side, so you see that there's two parts of the chin rest, so it feels like you're off centre, it's perfectly normal. Okay. So I'll get you to pop your chin on the left-hand side, put your forehead against the bar at the top there. Now, is that comfortable there for you? Yeah. I'm going to bring the chin rest down a little bit, so I'll bring... Okay. Now, is that still comfortable there? Yeah. Perfect. Now what I'm going to get you to do is look straight ahead. You should be able to see a little orange light straight in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Throughout the test, keep looking straight at that. It's always quite difficult to keep your eyes still, but doing the best job you can looking at the orange light. There's going to be some white flashes that appear all over the screen. And all you need to do is press the button in your hand whenever you see a little white flash for me. Okay. So the machine will double check things. So if you accidentally press it when you didn't mean to, or if you forget to press it, it will go back and double check things. And it's absolutely fine to blink as normal, don't feel you've got to stare through the whole thing. Uh, so it's about two minutes, so uh, it does take a little while. As I said, just blink as often as you need to. A little beep when it's happy and ready to go. Good. Just give it a second. And off we go. So just pressing the button whenever you see a little white flash for me. Very good. Brilliant. Keep looking at the orange one in the middle. Okay, you're doing very well. Keep looking at that orange one. Doing very well. That's good. Brilliant, proper workout to uh, your eyes there, that was very good. So that's good. Right, so if I take the clicker, what we're going to do is move that patch to your other eye. So let me just pop that on. So it'll feel a bit blurry because you'll have had, uh, had a patch clamped over that left eye. So let's just pop that patch on your right eye. And I'll give you your clicker back. Thank you. And uh, you guessed it, you're on the other side of the chin rest this time. I'm going to forehead up against that bar at the top. Now I'm just going to move the chin rest to the side a little bit, just bring you across and I'll bring you down a fraction. Is that still comfortable there for you? Yeah. yeah. So just blink as often as you need to. So we'll keep looking at that orange one, keep nice and still there. Keep looking at the orange one, it's nearly ready to go. And off we go, just pressing whenever you see a little white flash for me.
Thank you. There we go. I'll take that clicker for you. Just get all those results saved. So I'll quickly write your prescription up just so that you've got that, you'll be able to take that away with you. Right. Okay. Right, okay, so these are your results from your peripheral vision test. Uh, so this is looking at your uh, we've got your left eye and we've got your right eye. So lots of numbers, lots of uh, little data points on there. Essentially what it's doing is it's identifying if there's any areas where we've got uh, some reduced sensitivity in the peripheral vision. So you'll notice that we've got the little black dot there, that's where your natural blind spot is, so we wouldn't expect there to be any sensitivity there. But we can look at the other plots and there's no missing points uh, in your right eye. Uh, so that's very good, that's all looking fine. And your left eye, just like the photograph, the blind spot is on the other side, uh, it's just where uh, the optic nerve, as we saw in the photographs on the, the other side, so our natural blind spot, but everything else looking absolutely fine, all looking okay there. And the little graph at the bottom shows you were very good at keeping your eye nice and still looking at that orange light, so uh, top marks for you there. Brilliant. Right, okay, so we've finished your eye exam. Uh, so this is a copy of your prescription. Um, this is the bit that you would take to an optician, they'd be able to sort you out with some new glasses. As I say, there's a little bit of short-sightedness in both eyes, tiny bit of astigmatism, but uh, sort of nothing, nothing to worry about. I've put you down for a year review, and that's really just so you can re-photograph that little freckle. Okay. Uh, not that I have any major concerns over your vision, because this is largely the same as the glasses that you've got from two and a half years ago, so I'd be mm -hmm. quite comfortable saying that you're... Short sightedness seems quite stable. I don't think it's changing a huge amount, which is okay. good. I think carry on with the wearing time that you're getting out of your glasses. You know, if you feel that you know, things could be clearer, by all means, pop them on. As I say, you're not going to make your eyes any worse by wearing yeah. them. Uh, there's always that sort of fear that we're we making our eyes dependent on glasses. Yeah. Short sightedness, uh, you, you won't you'll be finding that with this level of short sightedness, it should be absolutely fine to just pop them on a little bit more often. If it's making it clear, if you're managing without, equally that's not going to damage your eyes, it's not making them overwork or anything, it's okay. just things far away, a little bit fuzzy. Yeah. But the glasses aren't nice and clear, so it's, it's quite, sure quite a good position yeah. to be in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And as I say, it's a perfectly reasonable prescription if you wanted to go down the contact lens route as well. Okay. But yeah, it's always something to think about. A lot yeah. of it depends on you kind of your yeah, wearing I'm quite time. Bad for <laughs> That's fine, don't worry. <laughs> so I shall give you that. Oh, so that's you so your much. copy of your prescription to keep. And uh, yes, we'll see you again in a year's time. Oh, thank you so much. That's right. Thanks, Saint. This is the OCT. Have you had that done before? Do you know? Um, I don't think I've had the OCT before, no. So it's OCT stands for Ocular Coherence Topography. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, but it's basically mapping whatever it's taking a picture of. So in, in this case, it's mapping your um, uh, fundus, so at the back of your eye, um, and your macula. So um, I'll, I'll show you the images after I've done them. Um, yeah. So one of them's more for glaucoma, um, okay. that's the optic nerve, and then the other one is more for things like macular degeneration, which is normally age-related, so as you get older, but it's just good to have these things, and it's um, gives us a 3D picture, so it gives us a lot of details, not a photo, it's like a scan of the eye, so okay. that's why it's really good. So if we do the scan first, just move it up a bit, you pop it in in there, yeah. you need, yeah, yeah, and then forehead in the top if you can, because if I keep your head still we get a sharper image. So let's just do this. A minute to turn on. Do you normally wear glasses? Um, I do, but not like twenty four seven. Okay, I've just got a small prescription. Yeah, mainly watching television, like when it's far away.
I'll well, show you the images here as well. So this is your optic nerve here, where all the vessels go out the back of your eye. This is really sharp actually, it's a good image. Um, and basically with glaucoma, you have an increased pressure in the middle of your eye and that causes damage to the optic nerve at the back of your eye. Uh, and it affects the thickness of the nerve fibre layer on your optic nerve. And if that thickness gets damaged and gets thinner, then you get a loss of visual field. So you start losing areas of your vision. So that's sort of what glaucoma is. Um, and this machine measures the thickness of the nerve fibre layer all the way around the rim. So if we slide this over here. So this is a cross section through there of the thickness of the nerve fibre layer. So you see as I drag this over, it's a different cross section all the way around. Uh, and this is it mapped out, showing the thickness. And then over here, um, it shows the quadrants of the areas of, uh, of the thickness. Uh, and it's got your thicknesses, and then it's got averages as well. So, um, uh, and that all looks really healthy and is in, within normal limits, so that's good. Oh, that's good. Yep. So that, that one, and then we've got your other eye here, which, same again, that looks really good as well, and all within normal limits. So that's great. Uh, they like equal with both eyes. Yeah, ish. Oh. Yeah, not, not always. Um, and then this other picture that oh, I took or scan that we did, um, gave us the best one is if we look at the 3D view. So if we slide this down, and make it a bit bigger. So there's your optic nerve there, which we were just looking at. And then here is your macula. This is where all your detailed vision is. So when you're looking at something and, and, and want detailed vision, you're looking through your macula, where all the, the highest concentration of the rods and cones are. Um, so this is the bit that we're interested in here. And we've got a cross section through it. So, so this is the layers of your retina. Uh, so if we slide through it, each beep when it was taking the scan was a cross section through it yeah. and then it creates this block which we can look at uh, and then in a minute we'll get to the centre of your macula there. So that's where the detailed vision is, so if we look from above that's where it dips um, and that little reflex point is where there's the highest concentration of the rods and cones for the detailed vision. So that all looks really good. Healthy. Same again with the other one. Let's have a look. Occasionally you get patients that come in that have vision problems and then their the centre of their macula has completely come away. Um, and that's when they'd get you'd know about it because you wouldn't have very good vision. Um uh, uh, okay, let's just slide through this one as well. Make it a bit bigger. Rotate it. So again here. Just going through the layers of the retina, and then that's the centre there as well. So that looks good. Um, Richard will have a look at these when he does your sight test, just to make sure he's happy with them. Okay. Um, but that looks really healthy. So if we look from above, you see how sharp the vessels are there. Yeah, wow. So they're going out the back of the eye, and that's feeding the oxygen to your retina. It's quite cool. It's really good. Really I know. Cool. And it's I really great it. showing people. Uh, yeah. Right, that's that one done. So now we want to do the visual field. So yeah, yeah. this one's a bit more boring. It's a necessary must. But uh, you've probably had this one done where you press a button for the dots that you see. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so this is the button here. Okay. And I can move this up and down. So you need to put your right eye in there first yeah. and then close your left eye and you can use yeah, you can use your finger just, to, just okay. to hold your your lid if you want, whatever's come more comfortable. Um, and you see there's a dot in the middle there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's a red dot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a red um, dot. I'm trying to remember the colours. Um, so that's a red dot, so you have to always look at the red dot. Okay. And then press the button when you see a white dot anywhere else in the bowl. Okay. So it's only the white dots that you need to press the button for, and there's only ever one white dot, so you only have to press it once. Okay. Sometimes um, you're not supposed to get the dots, so um, oh. just to let you know, there's not always a dot, so you don't keep pressing it. 
okay. it tests your blind spot. So um, and you're not supposed to get those ones. So right. um, it takes about two or three minutes each eye. Okay. So are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Just started. Oh, oh I didn't press it in time. No, oh. it's okay. It's just getting the sensitivity of your eye to start with. That's good. Oh, it's quite quick. Yeah, a bit, bit quick. That's it, that's good. Okay, done. That's good. Didn't miss any spots, did really well. Oh, wow. Okay, all done. Feels like a bit of a game. I know, it's sort fun. of a really basic computer game, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Um, there's different, we've got another test um, which does it in a lot more detail over here, but that's only if you have problems with your eyes. This one's uh, a bit more straightforward. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if you get the other eye, that's it, and then pop that in there. So, this is the left eye. I'm going to be slow with my left eye. Pardon? I might be slower actually okay. if I hold it with my left hand, yeah, I'll be there. Just, yeah, reach round. Okay. Okay, you ready to go? Yeah. Yep. Okay. There we go. Just started. Oh no. Oh. It's okay. Keep going. <laughs> You're allowed one or two mistakes. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, all done. It's done. Yeah, you got you missed one, so that's <laughs> fine. That's left. Okay, that's this is more straightforward. So, um they looked looked good. The visual field, so um, that's good. L I S T. Yeah. Okay. Bizarrely, you have to put the date of birth in first, and then you put them in. Uh, So this just gives us a, a plot of your visual fields um, of, the, of the different areas. Mm -hmm. So uh, so the, the centre of that cross is you looking straight ahead and then you're sort of 30 degrees to the left, right and up and down. Okay. So and it's testing areas within your visual field. Uh, and if you miss a spot, then it highlights it. Uh, so, so I missed that one, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but that that's one for spots. So that's okay. Uh, uh, and your other eye, it's perfect. So uh, that's good. Pressure after getting them all on the first time. <laughs> it was like, yeah, yeah too, yeah. too nervous. <laughs> yeah, some people get do get really nervous, especially with the visual field, if they've got glaucoma, because uh, the re you, you can. Yeah, they don't want it to get worse. And and the and the more you miss, the more it shows with the details. So it can take quite a long time. Uh, and occasionally some older people fall asleep when they're doing it, so they can't concentrate. No, uh, so you have to like keep talking to them. It's quite hypnotic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially if it takes take 10 minutes on a detailed one if you miss a lot. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, 10 minutes would be quite long. Right, that's, that's yeah. all good. That's that bit done. Uh, Thank you so much. That's okay.